<laughs> there we go. Hey, that that was a couple of seconds of a, a real meditation. You ready? One, two, three. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh yeah, we're back with sleaze ball We're back himself. like we never left. <laughs> We've been here the whole time. Mm. I, I just I went to the bathroom last time afterwards, and I just never came back. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Kurt doesn't he, use the that sleaze, bathroom. The sleaze is never really gone. He's just in different places till I, he gets back. I try to leave a piece of myself, so whenever I come back, you know, that's something. who shit in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, it's like a, I saw a thing recently where there was like a ice cream sandwich or something like that, uh, the little fudge uh-huh. ones, yeah. and you can set it out and it just doesn't melt or nothing, and that's what my poop's like. What it ju- the it, fuck? It's ju- it just stays hard. It doesn't mold. Doesn't turn white. Uh, oh yeah, like dog. Yeah, dog. There's no more white dog poop. You see that? They quit putting the chemical in dog poop that made dog shit turn white. Are you old enough to remember white dog shit? I, I'll go ahead and say that I'm young enough to just relate it to stepbrothers. <laughs> Gosh, that sucks to say, but that's all I know about the white dog poop. It used to turn white. They used to put a lot of calcium in it, that kibble that they would eat. And so their shits would turn white, but they don't do that anymore. I always wonder what happened to it. I was like, didn't dog poop used to turn white? So it's calcium? Calcium. Okay. okay. And we're all learning. Seven minutes in. Shut it off, Kurt. Literally We're going home. Minute. That's yeah. it. That's that's the only lesson that you need. You know? That's it. Mm-hmm. Dog shit's not white anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. Where do we stand on the Rock Roman Reigns thing? Are we mad like everybody else? I don't take it personally. <gasps> you don't this, have a this, side? This, this guy could probably give it to you right here. <laughs> I know. We, we got the special guest in the house over here. The hardest working man in the wrestling business. Putting this stuff out here, all that cool stuff, mm-hmm. making us look cool, because God knows it's a hard job. Did you see the sizzle really made? The with all the good hits from the last match? No, when did you put that out? Mm-hmm. Uh, yesterday it was already. Is it on YouTube? It's on, it's on Instagram. Reels. Oh, okay. You gotta reel Reels. it. Nice. Okay. Reel it in. Reel it in. Well, uh-huh. I'll, I'll probably reel it from you and it's steal pretty it good. And use it, you know. So. Pretty damn good. Yeah, but uh, I think it's all right. People are pretty mad about the Cody thing and. I like Cody. I think it's cool because he's like an actual, real deal baby face. You know, okay. he, he's like really doing that. Well, because you know they they took it from Cody. Right? Explain it and, to me. Because no, I don't know. I just saw the article thing and I was like, oh god, we'll what see, happened now? We'll see. For someone like you that isn't in the loop, they're gonna be you're gonna be like, uh, oh, The Rock's gonna be wrestling Roman Reigns. That's awesome. Let's. That's what it looks like. Then there's the money that usually wouldn't be there, but right. Cody Rhodes. He won the Royal Rumble last year. Okay. Wrestled Roman Reigns, lost. Uh, they set it up to where if Cody won, it totally would have been okay. Like, it was cool. Some could have said it would have been premature, and he needed this year to really get it back because he just came back from WWE and stuff like that. But uh, he won it again this year, like it just a couple weeks ago, something like that. Right. And uh, it was going to be him and Roman. You know, he's finally going to finish his story. Oh, you know how it is. You know, the rock came and fucked it all up. The rock came out. I think they literally had a segment where the rock came out and Cody was like, yeah, here you go. You can have this because he can pick either like the world heavyweight championship or the WWE. You can't have both. No, no. uh, Take them both. You have a choice, you know, but the WWE title is really the the main one. World heavyweight championship is cool. And it had legacy back in the day. Right. You know, but, uh, not as much, but mm. it, I guess that's what they're going for. So they just took Cody out of that, and that's probably so people the, are pissed off because they just dropped him like a bad habit because The Rock showed up. Yeah, yeah. Well, fuck that. That yeah. is shitty. So that's the. They're whole, like the ratings are down. We need a we need someone from the '90s to come in and save us. Yeah. Well, the thing is, if they would have just done it a little bit earlier or decided on it a little bit earlier mm. before Cody really got in the thick of all this stuff, because that's what I thought would have been cool. I was like, well. Well, it's kind of like in the, the 90s uh, or probably the 2000s when DDT nope. won the title. Yep. Because he was the people's champion, nope. right? He was the WCW people's champion. People's champion. Yep. Mm-hmm. He won the belt, and people started booing him. They turned on him. Yep. So I could kind of see where they were worried that Cody got the belt. I see much of Cody. This is not Cody. plugged in, Kurt. <laughs> 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 yeah, no one heard any of that. <laughs> That's good. Uh, well, I just clapped in their ear real hard, so it's okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah. DDP's the man, if I can just say that. But DP, it, D, DDP, 
docking. <laughs> you know what that is? Oh, yeah. Did we, we might have talked about this last time. Nose to nose, as it were. <laughs> I, was pre- I felt pretty cool whenever I heard the term docking. I was just like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> said, that That's... feels like illegal information. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so, uh, it makes sense, but. <clears throat> what about Logan Paul? I saw two wrestling things this week, and I was like, you know, we have a wrestler coming on. Let me figure out what this is all about. Is I mean, he like a real deal full time now? Yeah, I think he's like a contract. Well, he's the U.S. champ, so I mean, he has he's a contract, and he he works. Uh, oh wow! A couple of times a week or whatever, you know. Uh, do whatever. you like it or do you hate it? Are you indifferent? I I'm not really personally a fan. Whenever I watch his matches, I'm entertained because he's mm-hmm. like he's athletic. Oh, he's an entertainer. He's an entertainer, yeah. like. When that's in you, that's in you, and, right. that, and that shines. He's through got the for, thing, yeah, for, for sure. For better or for worse, yeah. in different situations, yeah. but dude goes out there and he kills it in the match. So like, I know it's not going to be a boring match, right? But he, I'm not like, I'm not out there drinking prime, <laughs> right? Yeah. Shout yeah. out, shout out to Brad Skimmerhorn. Nine dollars, <laughs> fucking sports drink. Yeah, there's no way <laughs> I'll drink my vitamin water, fifty cent, mini men. <laughs> Oh, I think he sold his shares. I don't know. I think he did. I don't think he has. I don't think he's had part in that company in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still vibing water. What about you, man? How you feeling, man? You I'm freaking d- dire. Dude. Trying to die on us since the last time you were on here. You couple, freaking couple loser, times a dude. year, I just have to like God, like fall into a giant <laughs> hole. <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't know. Hit cess hole. Uh, I did. I mean, we will get into the nitty gritty of it, but one thing I heard. Sleazy got greasy, bro. Someone said, Chris Rock told him, you know, because when you're out there in front of people all the time, Mm -hmm. people get close to you, but there is like an oversaturation factor that can come into factor. Sure. But he said, if you never leave, how are you ever going to expect to make an entrance? Mm. You know, like, if you're there every time. Right. Right. That sizzle's gonna like go down some. We were just talking about that earlier. But you know, the good Lord gets to bless me with all these awful things that gets to happen to me. That I'm like, sorry guys, major depression. Sorry guys, hospital stay. You know, big deal. <laughs> and but, depression. Uh, and <laughs> deeper depression because hey, of it. A twofer. I'm not as good as I used to be. Awesome. My body's falling apart on me. Awesome. My mind wasn't there in the first place. Awesome. Check, check, check. So, but uh. I got the Steven Seagal ponytail. Yes, you do. Feeling feeling better, and I'm glad taking a keto classes. <laughs> teaching them. Like, yeah, I'm teaching them. Yeah, yeah. Because teach, you I, don't I have t- to actually know it. You just have to have people that are willing to fall down funny. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Just throw them Dude. in weird ways. You yeah. Know? No. But I'm glad to be here with you guys, though, and I'm glad to yeah. be wrestling here soon. Yeah. You know. So. February seventeenth. Yeah. That shit is coming up. Right around the corner. What is that? Dog. Two weeks from now, or next week? Is it a week? <laughs> When is it, Kurt? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, Damn, two weeks. Bro. So, yeah. Who you going up against? Uh, who, who, who you fighting there, brother? I mean, I can tell you his name, but oh. he, I don't know really who it's going to be when it comes down to it. And oh, he, really? Currently, he's Sensei Badcock, but we know him <gasps> oh, as Buddy. Oh, Buddy Badcock. That's right. You going to beat, that, you gonna beat the dude. Sensei out of him? I don't know. Have you been seeing these? Inst- I mean, he's always been on Instagram videos lifting weights, but here recently... The guy has Getting been beef caked, yeah. And I'm like, he's hey, caking up, dude. I'm gonna get in there with that strong, strong individual <clears throat> with all but these. But he has strong things. muscles, but you have strong smell. You put him in a coma, and you get him a rear naked choke, and you just fucking end it. I can't believe I didn't bring Chuck. I know, man. <sighs> Damn. I was wondering what your sole power use. <laughs> all respect to this shoe, but there's no power in it other than There's no magical powers. The sexual powers that come straight <laughs> off of your body that consume anything you touch. <laughs> but yeah, if Chuck was here, you know, that could uh that I will have Chuck. At I Venus. would hope so. You I'm going to have him. to have Chuck yeah. when it comes down to it. A lot of violent shit might go down, but Chuck mm. will, nobody It's going to bring you back from that. Nobody's susceptible to Chuck. Once you get that on him, it, it's Just like put it it's on like him. taking this. You and know what this. you should do to subdue him more? Put it on it, duct tape it to his face. And I'm then, not trying to kill the guy, Corey. This is winter. Die. He's still my friend. He's going through some serious stuff. He yeah, he's, he's possessed. A, he thinks he's an '80s karate man. I mean, when 
And but he's, believing is achieving, and he's he's believing. Oh, he's selling it. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. He's selling black belts to little kids. <laughs> Remember the 80s? That was all it was. Taekwondo studios everywhere. Yeah, making money. It was all money. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like, oh, you did a kick. Here's a yellow belt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Another 50 bucks next uh-huh, week. Uh-huh, that's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> them fucking things were everywhere, dude. Yeah, they were. They used uh, to put them on top Rex of your Quando. pizza. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Who wants to get a st- stiff roundhouse kick to the face of these bad boys? <laughs> 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 yep. But uh, so it's going to be an interesting match, and I, th- I think this is his, like, first death match. So and he, this is a death match. It's a the very first Arkansas death match. A very first Arkansas. You've done a death match. I've done it in a death match here, but this is like the the title of it. It's like down oh. in Texas they have a Texas death match, which actually oh, changes the saying. rules of the match. Interesting. The rules won't particularly be changed, but the violent environment will be formed by. Holy shit! You know. The stuff around here, so it's going to be a Arkansas death match, uh, pin submissions. I think it's going to be regular rules. Oh, okay. But uh, we got some crazy stuff. I bet being built. I, I, bet. I, I have my buddy Andrew. He's uh, helping me out on some weapons and stuff. He made a <laughs> weapons. <laughs> he, he made a cut can board here recently. Oh, uh, so God. that with a couple of gussets just to top it off. The gussets are horrifying. But they're horrifying. They truly are. Like, He's like, don't be a bitch, dude. Just no. take it to the fucking dome, no, all right? Every every time. But once you take it to the dome, man, it's something else. It goes numb. You don't even feel it. That's it. And once, yeah. once you feel that warm on your face, buddy, you're next level. You're ready to go. You get know? the color in. Yeah, you no. got you got to get the color. Yeah, you know? see, I'm but Buddy's ready to get some color. He's talked to me about death matches before. Yeah. You know, before he got into the karate or... It's cool Whatever. how deep they fell into it like, immediately. Oh, they, they fell in love with the wrestling yeah, they, shit. They, they took to it, and they sometimes we have to go into wrestling with no nothing helping us other than like we love wrestling. Mm. We don't yeah, have yeah. any have the athletic part of it particularly. We've never really <sighs> either performed and stuff like that. They were comfortable athletically. Performing right. and everything, so like they already they, had it in their head what was yeah, going on. So yeah. now I think it's them really getting their now you just tied rass- it up. Their, their wrestling feet up under yeah, it because yeah. once you get your stuff figured out right. and, and you can you work you just tighten it up. It's like being in a band. And then you Same just shit. it's just growth. It's just setting more mm-hmm. into your gimmick and setting it more into your style, and it that's just something that only takes time. Which I feel like a gimmick's got to be like a never ending thing. That's it just is. that's a always it sh- evolving. It should be. You're taking this story and and it's, it seems like. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't like you know. Seems like y'all have a lot of stories going on in a lot of different parts of the state or different areas where y'all go, and it's not necessarily mm-hmm. continuous. So you're playing maybe a multiple characters in different places. There are people that their characters are so deep that there are certain versions of them. You mm-hmm. know, like War Wolf. Right. He has multiple personas that he's been, you know, gifted upon or that he's taken upon himself or right. ones that are really more pieces of who he really is. You know, the the, the OG Bruce. Shouts out to o, OG Bruce, TAC champion, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, Draven Morrow, uh, he was on some of the first shows. He's one of the guys. Yeah, what happened to that dude? Dude, he is just doing his thing. He's working, and hopefully he'll come back around to those and, and cause some violence. You yeah, know? yeah. But, but he's an integral part of like. Oh, he our, seems our, in the our mix. community. He he started a lot of the guys that he's got that podcast. Yeah, or, oh, is it a yeah. podcast like a live special thing? Dummies, yeah, special, special dummies, SDU. Yeah. Uh-huh. And him, him and Fred James. Uh, Old Fred. Yeah, but yeah. he he was originally Cataclysm, and that formed in Draven Morrow, but. He lost a mask, but it was still kind of the same gimmick. He had his his same group, but it just evolved, mm-hmm. you know. And when you're you want that, unless you're well enough into what you're doing that you can do that for a long time. Ah, uh-huh. and you know, when you got it, you know, but sure. you need to continuously change because 
Well, yeah, Who same people say the same all the shit? time. Yeah, it's you know weird what I mean? like that. So even if you have one good well, album, play some covers or some shit. Or do I don't know. Different. Well, bands only want the hits. See, that's the thing about music. Yeah, they want the hits. But, but those hits you can put have out the new in. shit. They can put out the new shit. But when you go play a concert, you got to play some hits. You have to. You're not going to get away from, it, or people going to be mad as a motherfucker. Yeah, and so that would be like doing. Uh, a signature move, so like that's oh, that's some of your your okay. bits, moves, some of your shit. I didn't think about so, the moves. So yeah. you're, you're when you're you're playing, you're playing a match, whatever. Yeah. Uh, your character might evolve, and your gear, and this and that might evolve. But people are used to seeing me do the Bronco Buster. So right. Whenever I fly and do that, like I might do a bunch of different stuff, but that's I'm gonna play that one. I'm gonna make sure I do that because right. everybody. You know, thinks about my nasty sack going in people's faces. And if not, I'm glad to remind them. <laughs> Here's but, a healthy reminder of my stinky sack. But it's keeping <laughs> keeping that relevant stuff in your repertoire, but grow as a gimmick or a performer. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. How many moves have you created? Dude, I haven't created very many. Yeah. And I haven't used very many. I've maybe done a, bo- a body slam. Two or three times in a really? match, I've given. Interesting. I've given maybe two suplexes. I've done. Yeah, when it comes to wrestling, like classic wrestling, yeah, moves, yeah, yeah. I haven't done a whole lot of those. Interesting. Because for the most part, I've always either cheated, got you on the ropes, uh, yeah, yeah, done a bit, choke you out, get you in the corner, bronco buster or whatever. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to wrestling moves, and like I've never felt uncomfortable performing them. But for my character, ah, I see. a yeah, bunch yeah. of you're playing to your strengths and your moves, uh-huh. yeah, and I can survive. You're also not the wild type, right? Mm-hmm. Like that that flying through the air. You're more like a in the face, holding on to him, slam him down, like yeah, uh, yeah, more yeah. ruffian style. Yeah, if I I just need to grab a hold of you, yeah, then yeah. I'll hit you, pinch you, poke you, prod right, right, you, gouge you, whatever. But you don't need uh, the eyes, bitch. No, the high flying thing. I've always growing up. I thought I would be a high flyer, and I thought it would be uh, cool. Ray Mysterio. I Billy just look Kidney. at that and go, "That's a broke neck." Mm-mm. That's it. Yeah, exactly. And I, I was a high flyer in my trampoline days. I bet you I tra- were backyard. Oh my god, backyard dude. wrestling. You know, but I did a lot. I thought that that would have been the way to go, but once I really got into it, I said. <laughs> There's no. I mean, for a big guy, I'll take a bump off the side of the. Off the ring, yeah, off, yeah, yeah. On, onto the ground or something. for sure, or I'll take a good size bump on the ground. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. But yeah. when it comes to flying off, diving off, going through the ropes, spring in, no, there's been three or four matches where I've been hanging out in the ring before while everybody's working real hard to train, and I'm just like being real weird, <laughs> and I'm like, I could do a, I could do a moon solid, I could do a backflip. I could do a backflip. I did do a backflip one time. I've seen so many people do backflips. Why can't I do a backflip? <laughs> I did one backflip one time, and it was just because my mother-in-law was there to watch me wrestle. Did you do it? Did oh, you I, make it? I, I did it, but I was, I landed on the complete other side of the ring. KT was up under me, and uh, I was going to do it, and I just, and I don't think I was going to hit it in the first place, you know, but I really just, I flew. I flew. I got up there and I said, "Oh no, this is an awful idea." This is that was just whenever I was doing stuff just because I knew it would get a reaction, right. not because right. Oh, I have something really serious that I'm. You're just replicating to what do. you've seen that you know works, and you're just yeah. kind of open for the best. Yeah, and it yeah, was yeah. a match that was just kind of put together real quick, and I said, "Early on in I said, your career, well, this can at least put me out of the match." It was a triple right. threat. I said, "Well, I'll, I'll miss this moonsault, and then I'm done for, it. whatever." But. No, I thought I would be a high flyer, but I could not imagine doing a lot of the high flying stuff or even really being a part of a lot doing of it. Doing that for like 30 minutes. There, like, holy there, shit, the amount no of way. cardio in your body, the amount of good oxygen you need. <laughs> and they just don't stop. And like, if you, It's wild. If you are the type of person that does that style, you're expected to do it quick. Uh, yeah, they all don't, the time. They don't want to see just like one or two dives, right. which... You do a dive, yeah. then you got a 30-minute match, and maybe like one more. It's like, we came to see the fucking air thing. Yeah, yeah. E- either either you want to see a lot of flying, 
are a lot of character work, are a lot of wrestling, are a lot of violence. I like, like a mix of it all. I, I like the when it's done right, you can yeah. do a little bit of all of it. It's like you know, it's like it's how I like my concerts too. I like a little mixed genre bill. Yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. That's what I try to provide, <coughs> even if it's a little heavy on one end. I right. try to. Well, it's always about the story, you know, obviously. Yeah. But we need more story. And it's all about playing to what I I can at least bring some funny and some crowd work mm-hmm. and some bumps. If you can at least bring, maybe you can fly. Maybe you can do this. Maybe uh-huh. you can do that. And if we like, you work can take well the hit. Enough, you do the you do the artwork, and I'll take the fucking yes, yeah. yes. And, and if you're an open performer, I feel like that's an easy thing to mesh with. But wrestling, we must have egos. So oh, true. To, to survive, Hell yeah, you do, brother. I'm not taking that now. God damn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. But uh, when you're working together, and you bring what you bring, and they bring what they bring, you're a lot closer to having all of that in that one match, and that's going to be a better show. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So how are you feeling? You feeling any better after the hospital uh, shit? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Back, back Wait, to that. Yeah, yeah. I want to know. I want to know. I want yeah. people to know the story. Tell yeah. the story. Well, if you really... Like, how long... Like, we know it's from the death match you did in the backyard, right? Had I think everybody been. knows that. There's no Had way it wasn't. Been. Had to have been. Everyone saw that video and went, why in the Ashley. fuck are they doing that right there? Like, you had, like, a little tarp. You can watch the video. It's on everything, I do believe. It's everywhere. Yeah, it it uh, it didn't go Like, how long after that... viral... How long after that until you started feeling like, hmm? Oh, it was a long process. That's, Something that's feeling... what was kind of weird because the match happened in August. Mm-hmm. Can't tell you the actual date. Sometime in August, middle of August. Yeah, yeah. Hot uh, as a bitch outside. I mean, it was like it, one of the hottest was, days. It was 101 degrees. That's so fucking crazy. And we did it at, at high noon. You know what? I want to stick barbed wire on me and get hit with light bulbs in a 101 degree tip. Nah, man. There was, there was a lot of things... Oh, sleazy. In that match that were put to the side. In an open field. Backyard, it, too. It, it, where, where people are rocking. It's a punk rock venue. Yeah, yeah. People are kicking it. It's a place where people are actually able to hang out and relax. So they're 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 chilling, you know? So that's right. a place where people are doing all kinds of stuff, you know, whenever you're chilling. And so, that, like I said, man, there was some stuff that had to go to the wayside because... I got I to gotta get up there with you, buddy. <laughs> but a lot of... And I feel like I'm pretty safe when it comes to most yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. I take a lot of caution. I think you need to be or you're going to really hurt yourself. Yeah, and I've always tried to be... I pride myself upon that. But... And, like, I'm, <coughs> you can't be in... An actual expert at doing stupid shit, but I've been doing it literally you can be since cautious, I was tw- though. 12 or yeah. 13. And I had ca- pr- cautions then. Too, you know, yeah, but I think what outweighed a lot of the precautionary stuff that might have existed was because I saw it as this has to happen, and if we're gonna do it and we're gonna lay it out, it's really gonna have to be to the top, you know, like, like we we were gonna have to bring it, mm. and where sometimes you might have been like, oh, I don't know if we can do it like that or this or that. It was, no, we're just doing it. Got to figure it out. We're going to fill as much shit into this 10 minutes. That was only 10 minutes? I think it was a 10 minute, I think 12 minutes all together. Wow. But it was a 10 minute match. uh, And it was crazy from beginning to end. I started bleeding like within the first 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. And uh, we, we had a makeshift. We had some tarps laid out. How about that? We had some yeah, tarps yeah, yeah. laid out. Some gray tarps. Yeah, some gray tarps. Uh-huh. Like American Pepper. Yeah. Exactly. But we did it, and it was pretty intense. We both knew. And pretty the guy intense. that I wrestled is a really intense guy, Deadly Dale. Like I said Deadly before. Dale. Oh, Deadly Dale! But shouts out to Deadly Dale, because he like brought me into the business, and he's a, a ride-or-die deathmatch guy. And Hell yeah. He wasn't going to do it without going all the way, and I knew that I couldn't put it out there at least... The first time, especially as a death match, right. and not give them every single thing. Did I expect as much damage as we both took? Probably not. Uh, especially not the later part. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what kind of sucked because that was like a, a pretty brutal time. Uh, luckily, one of my good friends, whenever he was like 35, he decided to go be a surgical tech. So, And at that point, I didn't have insurance whenever that match happened. So afterwards, I just had tons of wounds all over me like i still have these scars right here oh those, those shit big wounds right yeah there, you on, do on the back of my arm and it's like all over my back and shit like that and he uh it took him about two hours man but he he super glued my back and had to like clean Ooh. it and clean glass grass all ass. kinds of ass, yeah. a little bit of ass. Probably a little bit. There, there, uh, there's always a little bit of ass that, juice soaking that, up out of those trunks of mine. Is that a blade of grass or a pubic hair? Hmm. I mean, people, people's been kicking it dedicated for a while, man. And people have a good time, so God only knows. You, you know, know what I mean? Yeah, you're <laughs> dancing on the devil's playground, man. Man, that, 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 that's the punk rock paradise right yeah. beside the Dollar Tree. Dollar, family dollar. That's where I got my super glue from for all my wounds. <laughs> yep. Uh... Crazy glue. Crazy glue. It wasn't really crazy glue. He had some really good shit. And he, Just gorilla glue. He, Fucking he, wounds it, back it, together. It was, it was good, but he, but he glued me up. Match was in August. Okay. So then the Rice Festival was in October. So I ran my first official show in Wiener, cool. Wiener Arkansas. Yep. Uh, shouts out to Wiener, Arkansas. And everybody that helped make that happen, we had a great time. We had downtown Bruno there. And I was supposed to wrestle... One of my best friends, Brad Skimmerhorn, mm-hmm. we're gonna wrestle for this big title. It's gonna be a street fight, man. We were gonna really act a complete fools. Maybe a week or two before that show, this left wrist started to like just swell up, you know. So it would swell up, and I'm like, "What the fuck's going on?" You know, my hand was all swell. I didn't know what was up. I went to Did the it doctor. like real stiff and hard, like the skin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. it was just like puff. Ooh. Just completely puffed and like sensitive to the touch, and then like bending uh, it just was like non existent. You know, I got a little wrist wrap and I said, Oh God, Mike, what the hell did I do? You know? Ooh. So I went to the doctor around that time, that first time, and uh, went to the doctor. They gave me some medicine, took some labs, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. A couple weeks later, oh, so we had the Rice Festival. And then a little while. Did after. you do the match? With no, the... I had to. I, there, there just wasn't like no way. Cause, gotcha. Because it, it, it was affecting. <coughs> it was real. Like it was completely swollen. Like I couldn't even help set up the ring. I was oh, so embarrassed man. at my own little show. Yeah. Craig Stone, uh, he runs MACW there in Tuckerman, and uh, he brought he he let us use his ring and stuff. And mm. I was gonna wrestle, and we were setting up the ring. And I started trying to grab some boards and. Craig's a hardcore dude, and he's like an old school guy. And he said, "He said, Sleazy, don't." He said, "Don't do that, man." He said, "You're hurt." He said, "You don't got to do that." So, it didn't hurt me to move out of the match simply because I knew that number one, it wasn't going to be a, a good move. It wasn't going to be safe. <coughs> this stuff's still going on. I'm not right. getting better. I'm getting worse. Mm. And I'm That's gonna I'm gonna want to put on a good show. Getting and worse is scary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Cooper. Hey. Making his. We got a friend. Yeah. I love you. You look so sweet. He's the sweetest. Why do you look so sweet? Because he is. He's so sweet. He's just filled with love. But I wasn't able to do that match, you know? And so, a little <clears> while <throat> after that, it kind of got a, my wrist went down. I started to feel a little bit better. And I was supposed to do the pizzeria death match. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, wasn't able to do that because about a week before the show, my wrist started hurting again. But then it was like my wrist, my elbows, my knees, my ankles, Uh-oh. like all my joints, all my joints started hurting. And I said, well, this is weird. Then my ankles really started hurting. And I was like, man, this sucks. And so <coughs> scary like, stuff. Tuesday, Wednesday, it just started hurting more and more. Then, like, Thursday, Friday at work, I was like, man, I don't even know. Like, it was hard to stand up or do anything, period. So, Friday night, by that time, uh, like, the around the ball of my ankle, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah, right yeah, there yeah. on the inside, it, it, it looked like just a, a giant, giant knot, you know, or it was it, not even like, like a knot. Like water fluid, like, re- or like. It looked like the muscles were just like super pissed off like uh. it, and it's all like right in the actual joints it was like yeah right, yeah, yeah 
exactly right here in this wrist and right here in my elbows and my Weird. shoulders and stuff. Weird. Attack so. the joints first. And both of them were swollen, but the left one was like super, super pissed off. Whoa. Super pissed off. So by so Friday night, I was like, well, I know I can't wrestle, you know. So I talked to the boys, told them what was going on. Actually, I missed work Friday. Missed work Friday. My wife went to work, and by the time, because it, I told her, I said, I can't even go to work. I said, I, I can hardly stand up. Like, I could get up at that point and, and go piss. Really? I could Damn. get up and go piss, but by the time she got home from work, I couldn't even stand up. Like, I couldn't like, oh, yeah. like, get, get myself up and stand up whatsoever. And I Hospital was like, time. I said, holy shit, you know, and we kicked it, and I was like, oh, fuck, and we tried to I sit, elevate it, do whatever for a few hours, and maybe I fell asleep from like one till about four or five, and yeah. we woke up and it was just worse. Like the ice Shit. didn't help it, and it was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So then we live in an upstairs apartment too. So ah, oh, dude, she can't carry me down. You no, know? <laughs> you know I'm a thick fella. So and we're upstairs. Did you apartment. do sit and scoot? I mean, I'm, I, if if I'm so tough, I should have just thrown my down 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 myself downstairs. You know, <laughs> yeah. but that didn't happen. So I had, even had to call an ambulance, man, and that just sucked. Oh, it, it, no. it sucked and was upsetting. And I tell you what, those bills, those bills blow. Oh, I can't even. Well, I mean, the fucking ambulance right alone is like what five grand or some shit. Yeah, it was about. It was just about five for the ambulance ride and a little over five for the hospital stay. <laughs> Jesus. So, no insurance. Great. Oh, you still didn't have insurance? Oh no. No, no, not really. I mean, I did, but not like good insurance. Yeah, we're yeah. in the middle of trying There's to no figure out thing. if we can have it. There's no such thing. Care. No, yeah. no, it's a, it's a scam. It's a it scam. is. It's all shit. Let me see if I can. I don't know. A single person doesn't fucking. What are you doing? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. You gonna just set that there? Is yeah, there, yeah. Here. Is there a trash? I'll, I'll throw it there you go. Thank you. So. uh... <clears throat> I'm getting there, people. I'm getting there. <laughs> He's old and weird now. He had a bunch of blood disease. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm old. I'm weird. I've been through a lot of shit. And I'm, just I'm over a little to... slower, God damn it. I, I, Come I, I, see I'm... me on the 17th. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm playing the catch-up game. The, yeah. the, I'm, I'm, I'm on borrowed time, everybody. Wait till that adrenaline hit. Oh, this isn't your first match back. I keep forgetting. Have you done your second, your first one yet? I, I did an empty arena match with Brad right. in December. Okay. And we went pretty ham in it. It was pretty cool. That's on my YouTube. F Sle finish the other thing. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, okay, so I got to the hospital, and, it, like, I was in, like, the ER room or whatever, chilling in the bed. Yep. And, and the doctors and nurses were coming in. They're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know? They're like, they're like I was hoping you'd know. <laughs> did, this, did this happen? Did this happen? Blah, 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 blah. And I said, like, no, dog. I said, I don't know. I don't know. So... I was in there maybe for like five or six hours just chilling before they even got medicine in me. Oh, yeah. So then they brought me like my first thing in medicine and got me to an actual room. And I was there from Friday morning early. Right. Friday morning or Saturday, whatever it was. And uh, I think I left Monday evening. So it was like the full weekend yeah. I was in there. But they got me in there, and they got me on some pain meds before they started doing labs, which were was cool because I needed some fucking medicine. Yes. Like it was, it was, they got me on the the morphine, and I was yeah, like, dude. And I said, "That's cool, boys." But uh, can we ship it up to Delighted, please? That's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said, "That's cool. <laughs> that's cool for about thirty minutes." And I can only get that every four it's hours. It's just low dose heroin, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dilaudid shit is unreal. I said, no, get, get me to the Dilaudid. Yeah. They got me to a point to where they were doing Dilaudid every four hours. And in between that, every two hours, it was giving me hydrocodone. So, God damn. Needless sleazy. to say, <laughs> I got the special treat of having an enema yeah. uh, before I left I bet the you hospital did. because I didn't shit the whole time. They I was won't in let there. you leave until you poop, dude, yeah. especially on those painkillers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they, so the problem was that they didn't, they got steroids in me. And then they started doing some labs, but whatever uh, mm. type of infection that was causing my joints to flare up or whatever mm -hmm. was, like, out of my system. Or, like, they got the steroids really? in there, so you couldn't really tell. Oh. So they kept me on the steroids that whole time. Then I had to do steroids for, like, 30 days after that. 
and like nothing's happened since then. Really? And I've been back. I went and che- okay. got, got a checkup. And Do they have any idea what the I, fuck? I went to the rheumatologist twice. Yeah, yeah. I think I I went three times because this past time was just like a checkup, checkup. Sure. I went shortly after the hospital stay. Then I went back and he was like, the hospital kind of dropped the ball a little bit because they they didn't get the labs until after they got steroids in me. So shit was, the numbers were down, so you couldn't uh, really tell. Couldn't really tell. What he said was the numbers was high where it showed that there was some type of infection causing your shit to fuck up. You yeah. know what I mean? That's exactly what he said. <laughs> Coolest doctor ever. No, I love cool doctors, dude. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was a real guy. He was a real cool yeah, guy. Yeah, the doctors in there swearing, I'm like... Yeah, you're taking care of me, yeah, right? We're I'm, good. I, I'm in good hands. But he said that He's like, Oh shit, he's fucking dying. <laughs> yeah. And, and and if shit went wrong, he'd say, Hey man, you're fucked, bud. You says know? here your shit's all fucked up. <laughs> says here on your chart. Yeah, yeah. you're fucked, dog. Yeah. That foot's <laughs> coming off, bud. <laughs> That's it. But the numbers where there was a current infection or anything like that to be able to diagnose was was like non-existent. He said, so I can't really tell exactly what was going on. Mm. Blah 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 blah. Keep me on these steroids. Come back in three months, and then I went back, and he was like, "You go back. You're like, doc, can I have some more of those steroids? And doc, can I really help in my game? Can I have a couple more muscle relaxers, a couple yeah. more steroids, and I'll be ready to come back? Just to put Venus. that shit in a bag and hand it. Uh, <laughs> I'll be outside. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was like the whole saga, and I'm I'm good Damn. now. I. See, steroids should be legal. That's all I hear. They, oh, they're awful, and I hated taking them. <laughs> I hated taking them. My little hands shake anyways because uh, I got yeah. these bad nerves, and it just made them shake real bad. I you got nowhere sleep. to get the. You were in a hospital bed full of steroids. Yeah, of course you're yeah, they, shaking. Yeah, they pumped me full of it then, and then I took them like some strong ass steroids for wow. thirty days straight, like every day. Oh my and god! So, uh, but I haven't done a lot of physical stuff. I haven't. Exercise right. or anything. Go throw like some that. hay. <laughs> the government wants me to exercise. <laughs> I, I haven't been giving into that stereotype, you know. But uh, I feel okay though. Like I feel cool you look good, and I'm able yeah. to mentally. I'm a lot better. That's cool. So always uh, cool. That's good, and I'm I'm pretty productive. Been productive as of late, you know. Um, what about reproductive? Man. <laughs> well, they took my wiener off. That's what the <laughs> man, you know. And I'm I'm like 30, so I don't know if there's something wrong with my plumbing or something. So maybe I'm not too reproductive whenever. It comes oh to that. yeah, it might be. Who knows? And I don't know. I mean, I'm okay. We're all we're, fucked we're, up, full of microplastics and all kinds yeah, of crazy shit. We're not dying to have no kids or nothing. Me nah, and my cool. We're just a good team, so we're yeah. we're just living life the way we want to live it. But there you go. Kids on are, the edge, motherfucker. Right on the edge, you know. Yeah. But it's been a crazy year. I feel like it hasn't been almost exactly the year since I was here last time. Uh, I think it's been damn close. Kurt yeah, would know. Huh? I can find out. It's, it was, it's we been... were putting over the April show, right? Me and Will. I think that's right. Mm-hmm. I think it's coming up on a year. I think, well, because well, we were looking, we were like, well, because you don't want to have people on too close. Like, I love sitting down talking with the same person every now and then, but you can't, you know, boom, boom, boom. That's ridiculous. You got to put some months well, you have Between to let it. things develop, and over the past year, a lot well, you've of had shit, some shit, a lot bro. of shits went down, <laughs> yeah. and I've done a lot of shit. I've yeah. done. It's funny that I have those gaps where I didn't do a lot because it seems like I'm doing a lot, but I'm really not. Well, you're going through a lot, and sometimes that seems like you're doing a lot yeah. when really you're just sitting and being fucking depressed and being like, God damn. Yeah. Huh? Ten months. Ten months. Ten there you months. go. Almost, Almost a year. year. Yeah. Almost a year. So it's been forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so in the last 10 months, uh, I booked my first show, ran my first show at the Rice Festival. You say a empty arena match. What does that mean? Were you in an arena? The you, like, Is it what it is? It's it empty is an empty arena. arena? Yeah, they're, they're in Tuckerman. There's been two of them. I'm sure there's been more of them, but two big There's ones. just nobody invited? It's that, a televised that, event? Yeah, that, there, there's nobody in the crowd. It's a, it's a personal thing that people are settling. You know what I mean? So... Interesting. Technically, it was really just me seeing if I could do anything in the ring. Fair. I mean, that for me personally, hey, but I'm just telling how you. How the hell is she going to test it out, it, I guess? Yeah. And I'm not, what am I going to go in there and work out? <laughs> <laughs> like, 
work out and train. I'm not fucking gay, dude. And I'm bump. not doing that shit. Man, if that's a, if I'm gonna fucking bump, I'm gonna go ahead and fucking film it. You know. If I can't get huge by eating beef burritos, then I don't fucking care. Bean and cheese <laughs> yeah. stops me up and ha- makes me have the shits all at the same time. So, but it was it, it was a, just a fucking test, man. And I and I did it, and it was cool. Like I really wasn't even that sore or nothing like that. But an empty arena match. Mm-hmm. It is is a personal thing. The first one was Terry Funk and Jerry Lawler. They did one in the Mid South Coliseum. Oh. It ended up stabbing Terry Funk's eye. You know, it always ends in like a crazy way. The Rock and Mankind. Them, them did first one. wrestlers. I, I started going, listening to some stuff about them. Motherfuckers were wild. That yeah. was the Wild West. It was that commitment. Do a match, to, then go to a bar and beat the shit out of the whole bar. <laughs> Get arrested you had, a bunch. You had to. They were you wild, dude. That's what made whenever keep it kayfabe, to the brother. Town, like, yeah, they go into the bar just so somebody will say, hey, that shit's fake, so they can fight. And then, so, yeah. I what a wild life, though. You got to be we're in character. I don't want to piss anybody off. Keeping it kayfabe in public, you're just never not allowed to be yourself. No. I feel like that has to do some damage. It does. And to, it your, causes, to your mind. Yeah, it causes a lot of confusion. Because those motherfuckers don't stop. They're on tour constantly. They play yeah. every other fucking night. It's wild. Well, I mean, the road schedule itself is insane. Is insane. Throw the wrestling business. They're like Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, yeah. but for now times. Yeah, and and it doesn't stop. I mean, especially back in the day, people used to work like eight times a week. Yeah, you know, once every night and twice on Sunday. Uh-huh. You know, stuff like that. Wild, but it's dude. different these days. And so, for someone like me, back then. I wouldn't survive as a wrestler. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm wrestling in 2024. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. able to wrestle once a month, film it, promote the shit out of it. Because you doing once a month? Huh? I have about, I have a match once a month until through you sh- May. You just did one, right? Like just? Uh, I did the one in December. I was supposed to wrestle for Diamond State Wrestling this past weekend. That's what it was. Yeah, I was going to wrestle Pineapple canceled? Jack. Yeah, some family stuff came up, and it was uh, a, it was okay. on a Sunday and stuff like that. So I just had to had to fall out of that one. You know, Damn. shit happens. But uh, Pineapple Jack probably would have whooped my ass. But he wasn't going <laughs> to use the Bronco Buster on me because <laughs> he does it too. And I said, man, he's going to put his pineapple nuts right in my face. Uh, you know, I said, I don't know if I can handle that, so I had to back out of that match. Yeah. But uh, it was supposed to be that. So. This death match will be like my first actual match back, so Whoa. that's great. Nice. That's great. So it'll be that, and then... The adrenaline's going to be surging, dude. Oh. The first oh. time with all them people, and the... Oh, baby. And... And Buddy's buddy, a scary fella. Buddy's ready to do some shit. He, he's talked to me about death match since the He first just punch you kills know. you. He just punches you, and you die right that, there. Well, he knows, he knows the magic punch. He know, he's a karate match. That's what I'm saying. He got the keto black belt, and he wears around his forehead. As long as he doesn't <laughs> hit me with the shit punch and Dude. hit me and make me shit through my Or do trunks. that... What's that one? The smell bow? The, oh, no. The smell bow. I don't know if I can handle the smell bow, so... Chris won't be around, so they won't be able to completely. S- Unless I mean, they do some dirty to may- you. Maybe now. I don't you got to keep your head on a swivel for that match because you know his partner in crimes waiting in the wings. Yeah, I don't think Chris wants anything bad to happen to him, but Chris, I think Chris is a little concerned with his well-being. You know how far he's taken this career. I mean, thing. he's been possessed for like six months. It's now. It's been a while. I bet he would like to maybe get his tag team back going mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But uh, it'll be like we'll, three months. We'll see. It'll be a. I mean, it'll be a clash because he's bringing those oh, karate yeah. moves. I'm bringing the violence, and the but smells. he's also. I'm bringing the smells. He's bringing the karate, and we're both bringing the violence. Yeah, the violence is my favorite because part. Because he, he's he's ready to get down and it's figure like out wild. what it's The all first about. time I ever met you is just <laughs> your head in my crotch while pizza gets stapled <laughs> that, to it. That's it. Like, yep. You might have the best how I met a friend origin story <laughs> of all fucking time in my book. Like, yeah. oh, how'd you meet him? Well, his head was near my dick. And he fell down into me, and then somebody took a slice of pizza and stapled it to his fucking forehead. We've been great friends ever since. <laughs> ever since. since. <laughs> I love that guy. I knew he was a good guy. That was the moment I knew. This dude is ready. I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> That's good. That was good. Yeah. 
But it's it's been a crazy year. I did that. Uh, I did a, put on a show. Did the first No Ring Death Match. You put on a show. Some... What does that mean? Like you, it was your show. Like yeah. Sleazy E presents, or were you doing it under a moniker? Or technically, there was no moniker, no company mm-hmm. name, or whatever. It was, the name of the show was Wrestling at the Rice Festival. Nice. So it was there in Wiener. My wife is from Michigan. She yeah. has some family in Arkansas, and a lot of them was from Wiener. So she would come down for Easter. Gotcha. Then she would come down for the Rice Festival, and they used to have these Elvis impersonators. They'd get drunk and fall off the stage. They tell me all kinds of funny stories. <laughs> so I went to the Rice Festival, and there was a good crowd, but there just wasn't much popping. The main uh-huh. thing at the Rice Festival was the pageant. They do the Miss Rice Festival, and that's their bread and butter. Boy, you know howdy! I'm it, it it is as grass roots yeah, yeah, small yeah, yeah. town Arkansas as it gets. Butter art, baby. But that's that same <laughs> crowd that loves wrestling. Yeah. I said, we need some wrestling here. And luckily, my grandma, Shree, knew some of those Some folks. wrestling, baby. It is it is wrestling. Hell yeah. I think we might need a relent roller. I don't know I don't know how high quality these cameras are, but I guess it helps with the game. It's in, uh, it's in 4K, bud. You're going to look hideous. I'm sorry. No, it's not. They, uh... But she plugged me in with some of the people at the Rice Festival, and I w- ended up going to one of the board meetings, and we talked, and they are like, yeah, this would be great for it. And awesome. They took some money out of their budget. Damn. Pa- paid for it. You know. To rent a ring and all that stuff? Yeah, we wow. rented the ring. Got some people. We brought down uh, Downtown Bruno. That's a wrestling legend. You know Downtown Bruno, don't you? Probably should. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you probably should. You should know. Has he done Vino's Harvey yet? Harvey Whippleman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. He he worked for WWF and whoa stuff like that. But he's a mid south cool. guy, and so we brought him down as a nice little special treat. So we was able to bring some people in. I got a bunch of people who was just ready to do some weird shit at twelve o'clock outside of a Catholic church in a small town. <laughs> sure, you know. So we put on a good show, had a good time, filmed it, put it out and stuff. So ah, I did that. Let's say a year cool. ago, I could have never done something like that. Uh, mentally, uh, schedulely. Sure. I couldn't have, as much as I could have planned it or wanted to do it, or right. maybe knew some people to be able to put it together, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to do that mentally. And that was like one of the first things where I was like, hey, buddy, you're doing a little bit better. You're getting a little bit mm-hmm. stronger. You're doing more that's more productive instead of kind of wallowing until it's time to do waiting what you for something do. to happen and making shit happen yeah buddy you know so that was a good thing and so i did that and uh had a mat had a couple matches did, did a lot of stuff during the summer and then uh i guess my fucking body fell apart during the winter time and always um i put out an shit. album we were we're gonna get there. Hell yeah, yeah that yeah, was my so, next thing. But that was uh, I did that. But it's just been a, a lot of stuff over the past year, can... and I'm stoked that things are things are growing. Right, and it's just really cool. So let's talk about the album then, oh, Sleaze. Man, one of the weirdest things ever, and it's taken me like five years to be able to finally get it down. Yeah, recorded with some. Actual <coughs> instruments and shit like that and get a good quality out there. I've recorded maybe two recordings in my bathroom with a shitty microphone and like a <laughs> awful old un- oh, yeah. untuned acoustic oh, yeah. guitar, you know, but they're just wrestling ballads. And <laughs> I love it. The problem is it's so niche because it's wrestling involved. Yeah, and but it's, that but that but that whiny. but that fan base goes deep. And that's who it's and for. And they are loyal, loyaler than a motherfucker. They are. They are. And, it, and it's for the wrestling fans, but it's also that, that for, thing. The, it's, it's for the, the wrestler to right. relate to. Because a lot of it's about being in the business and the hardships of it. See, that's the, that's the record you got to put in like the deep channels. Yeah. That's not a Spotify thing. That's a, hey, check this out. Yeah. And you're like in these messaging boards, and you're doing like the I hardcore wish. fan club shit. Yeah, you just gotta go drop links. Man. King, King, fucking drop a link over here. Dude, he can tell you how to do it. I know. Well, he, he's the reason why we've built this internet following because that stuff. <laughs> he's putting stuff out constantly for constantly. every show. You know I don't know, know how the mean? fuck he does it. Yeah, well, it's inspiration. I try and keep he's just up. up. He's like up cooking cookies yeah. for his child, being like. Doot, 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 doot. 
Yeah, yeah he's like, let me get this space camera in here and film uh, this crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> this crazy let me, ass let me get these wild ho- holograms, uh, just no big deal, uh-huh. whatever. I'm just in my garage making holograms. What'd you do today? Yeah, uh, you, fucking nothing. You just chuck it to you. you <laughs> yeah. Know, and you watch and you're like, what the fuck? Man? What the fuck? This Where'd the glitter come from? That's is... uh, I got like these 40 different kinds of wallpaper. You're like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Home Depot King. <laughs> Home Dude. De- not Hobby Home Lobby Depot. Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Office. Hobby Lobby. Oh, yeah. Hobby Lobby. I can't think so. Get it right. I can't think How so. How dare you come in my house and disrespect me? Oh, yeah. Sleazy's also going to have his radio debut, debut on 88.3 February. Uh, oh, shit. Say plugged it. me in. Well, say it so people can hear it. Radio. Bring it bring over, bring it over oh, here. Oh, this oh, is the oh, man oh. that made it happen. Okay. okay. Don't get close to Don't me. Don't get nervous, Sam. Okay, Don't I'm pee nervous. on yourself. I'm having a good time. <laughs> not... Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, February 15th on Gray Matter Radio, 88.3 uh, KBF, uh, from 9 to 11 Thursday night. That's Thursday before the show on February 17th, Gray Matter Radio. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about, dog. It's we a sh- team effort, because oh, yeah. it takes it takes a village to put it on is, some it weird is. shit like we yes, do. Yes, it is a team effort, always. So, but we got that coming up. Uh, I have a couple of things that hasn't really been announced or cool. talked about that I've and it might even be a little premature Working and up. everything is card subject to change right but in March I think I will have the biggest match I'll ever have in March and coming up Oh. March 23rd in Memphis at what the high the tone what the frick at the high tone at God. the high tone so uh interesting the match isn't announced. Yeah, don't and, say nothing. And, uh, I'll keep it covered up, but I will tell tell the circumstances around it because yeah. it'll be. Uh, Damn, that's serious. <laughs> I'm releasing <laughs> one deep, <laughs> bellowing burp. God. Here's the details. Uh, but. <laughs> It's always card subject to change. So there's a band named Mud Show, and they're out of Memphis. Mud Shuttle. Like the Stain song? Mud Shovel. Never mind. I love it. Next. I love it. I l- it was a bad joke. Get, keep talking. It wasn't a bad joke. It's terrible. It, it, it's a joke I would have made. I could hear Kurt's eyes roll from over here. Well, <laughs> Kurt's eyes are always going to be rolling anyways, because he's fucking, he, he's, he's the steward of the ship. You know what I mean? So we're just we're What just the a hell? Damn, bro. Did someone just hack our feed? No. Someone had their ringer on. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, Mud Show is releasing an album about a legendary deathmatch wrestler named Matt Tremont. Oh, So, cool. he's from New Jersey. And so, they put out an album for him. And so, they're going to have a big main event with him in it. So, that's exciting. And I was going to wrestle this other fella. Shh. No, but I had a first match plan, and it was against this other fella. Some things fell oh, through. Oh, okay, I see. And they kind of plugged him in with another guy that he works with at this promotion around there. Right, right, right. So, the person that I'm working is just about one of the, the biggest deathmatch legends of all time. Sick. Like Mick is Foley. It- and then he's like right there, if not like right there. With God me. dang! And he's been doing it forever. I love McFoley so much. I love he's him too. He's supposed favorite. to be coming back for one more match. He said he's going to drop a hundred pounds. Are you serious? And do one more. Did death you see match. his Hot Ones episode? Yes, I it's did. It's so wonderful. He's great. He's, he's such guy. a sweetheart man. Like he, it's so crazy. He had a podcast for a while, and they ended it this past December. I was pretty heartbroken about it. It's called I Foley's hate when the Pod. Good pod ends, man. But they had to. It was time. They yeah. ran through the stuff, but. uh so this match is real big, and I'll go ahead and say it. So careful, you're not gonna I, get in trouble, are you? I, no, I don't. I don't think so, because like I said, card subject to change. Okay, okay. You know, and so this is coming out in uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. So the the legendary Madman Pondo. If okay. you if you guys want to Google him, I you'll will. Have plenty, plenty to see. I think currently he's the Big Japan Wrestling Deathmatch Champion. Damn. Like, he's over in Japan right now, but he... <sighs> Madman Pondo's been around for 20, 30 years, and he is a, badass, he's a staple dude. of deathmatch wrestling. I, I had the and you honor get to of, wrestle this guy? I get to wrestle him in a no-ring deathmatch at the dude. high tone. 
God damn it, you gonna make me go to the high tone, sleazy? Dude, I'm gonna make you go to the high tone. I even think we're upstairs. Fuck. I've never what, been upstairs. When is it though? Uh, March 23rd. It's a Saturday. <sighs> Dude, that fucking stinks. That really fuck. That's the same night as Emory and the Almost, and I think I might go to that. Dude, that's gonna be a sick ass show right there. And, but it'll be right Balls down the street. Up in my I head wonder the other if day. I can go. I wonder if I can do both. I'll be in Memphis that day working. Well, it's so like that night. The show's gonna run kind of late, and maybe it depends fuck. on when we do the match. But either way, and I don't you think keep I'm me posted. Keep spot. me posted because I'll I'm be in putting, town. I'm putting it out there. Uh, just so people know, and, and if that match doesn't happen, that show's still going to go on, and the legendary Matt Tremont is going to be wrestling. It's going to be a badass show, and I quite possibly will have the biggest opportunity. Are y'all putting a ring, life. or is it a floor? It's, it's a no ring, Bubba. Oh, my we're going, God. We're going on the concrete. Uh, so, sounds so much worse. Yep, it is much worse. And So I got, got that coming up, and hopefully that'll be something cool. So we got that going on in March. Um April, I'm working on a full no ring show. Uh, a full no ring show. Yeah, so not all death matches, just no because regular the, matches. The goal, the goal is to show people that we can do it, not just death match, and we can do it mm. in a. It's good entertainment. It's safe and it's fun. Sure, and we can do this at any bar or any outside venue or whatever with nothing, practically nothing. You know, so. Uh, it's going to be on 420 in April. So Hell yeah, dude. Looking to lock down oh. the venue here soon. I'm talking to a there couple folks, you know. Uh, so it'll be on 420. We're going to do a full show. So luckily, let's say the first match will be just be a nice little, That's cool, little introductory match. Then each match will get more and more intense. And it'll be a wild ride. And by the end of it, you'll be like, what the fuck just happened? Now, is this something that, like... Y'all try to stay in an area, or does the crowd kind of dictate that area, or do y'all just, we, there's we, no we fucks go, given? We go all over. We go all over, and you can follow if you want. You can sit in the back if you want, or you can follow the action. Yeah. So, Ooh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, exciting. it's a free range kind of thing, yeah. and, it, and it's its own art form, and I really enjoy the no ring. Are you not worried about people getting involved more? Because I know that's kind of like the M of the whole thing is like, if you get involved, you'll be involved. Yeah, well, when it came to, comes down to it, like it would just be the same thing okay. a, a, as a normal match. Okay. And we try and put it out there. It's just as much of a show as regular wrestling, you know. The so it's it doesn't look like two dudes just straight up fighting, you know. So then you would think, are you talking about just being that close to the action? People wanting to get involved, or them thinking adrenaline does things to people. It does. It does. And when you fall down right beside somebody, might want to take a head stop. <laughs> Because they're yeah. not on your side, yeah, you know they what I'm see saying? People chopping folks. They say, I'm like the ring, the ring is like too. a nice little divisionary thing. Like we're here doing the thing, you yep. stay here. It's like you know. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's a but it's a fun environment and it brings that closeness. <sighs> it's gonna be way more chaotic. I really and, and it'll be a lot more controlled because it is that more chaotic. Yeah, you know. So, but. It, It'll be mm. it'll be really fun, and I'm ready to put out a product that say like, "Hey, we can do this. It's a good time. It's safe. We can do it anywhere, and right. we can come perform at any show you want." Seems like a good, quick way to make like, not only build a name, but also make like quick money. It's good for like getting around. Hey, for me right here, I will get paid more to do a no ring match. Oh, now, for sure. Uh, then. If I just went and wrestled at a normal promotion and got my regular little PO, I'm going to get much more money. I'm completely in control of what's going on. Right. And we can come and put on a good show and kind of... It's like a floor show at a bar, man. Yeah. There's a lot of similarities in our two industries that are... Oh, yeah. And that's like that's kind of like what I'm seeking is a little bit more of kind of how things are done. You can be self... You don't have to have this whole giant thing. You're seeking like something a lot more punk rock. Yeah, I don't. I don't need your thing to put me up here to be able to do what I'm doing because right. I can go perform. Create a space anywhere I need to be. I'll, if I, I can that is punk rock, dude. That much of a space to do it, I'm gonna do it and blow that motherfucker. I need open. 70 square feet and a PA system. Yeah. Concert <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Done it. If we, if we got a generator, we got. <clears throat> if, That's it. If you just have a couple people show up, we're which y'all don't even need a generator, dog. You just no. fucking beat we, the shit out of we, each other. We don't need nothing. Uh, speaking, everybody hold their cell phone lights up. <laughs> speaking of no rings, you see this guy. 
uh -huh. that's hurting young William right there. Cody. I mean, uh, not, we not, have to stop doing that. I know. Sorry. We have to. We're not going to bleep it because it's on his Instagram. Grace. We all know how sweet the the roller coaster is. But <laughs> Grace and Beckett, another crazy thing. I think the weekend after I have the match in Memphis, a show that was a uh, match that was made just yesterday. My pal, uh, old, old Eric Phillips. Yeah, I love he, Eric. He's putting <gasps> I on knew the it Easter, was you. He's putting Is on it the you Easter that's doing show. it? I knew it. He announced it, no, no ring death match. I was so, like, fucking, that's going to be wild. And we'll we'll have more information out on yeah. it uh, eventually, but it's going to be me against that guy right there because he's the, dude. he's punk rock strong style, and it's going to be punk rock he's Easter. Strong, and dude, I said, and they've been working out like a motherfucker too. Dude, he's going to Them dude's packing on muscle. He's going to wipe the grass with me. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, that'd be a fucking hilarious promo video, man. If you're just like, he's doing iron and coming at you, and then you're just like in your chair eating a burrito. Like, <laughs> I don't give a hell what you said. <laughs> I need my strength. I'm where still think, on steroids, damn where, it. I admit it. <laughs> where do you think the smell comes from? I sweat grease, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I sweated out my ass. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> spicy shit sometimes, man. <clears throat> But when, yeah, so that guys, I uh, just about until uh, May, I got things lined up. Um, damn, looking good. We're doing it's a good year. I'm just keeping what I can up under me, but you know, the main goal is no more light bulbs. Man, no, that that's... can't happen. And, and if it is, it'll have to be in a different way, and someone else will be taking them. Yeah, yeah, but uh. For me, I guess whenever you're sweaty as fuck and it's a uh, hundred degrees, things outside, can get inside you. Yeah, yeah. You know all the things. It's not just a, a rip or a tear. It was it was like a legit. It's gash, a surgical gashes. cut. I mean that shit is so sharp. I mean I needed to go to the hospital. Oh Dale, luckily he had insurance, so he was able to go to the hospital, and Jesus. I think he had almost like seventy five stitches. What altogether. the fuck? So. Brother, yeah. and you just super glued the shit back together. <laughs> yeah, at, at that point, oh it, 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 it was it's it was the you know uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it was probably the glue. <laughs> no, it it is was, this medical safe? Who fuck it? <laughs> I was I was pretty gross and awful, but luckily my buddy Jacob he did he had some of the actual medical stuff from the oh, okay, hospital, right. so he had the actual a sanitizer bag. spray. Yeah. He was able to clean it out and able to put some honey stuff, Sleazy. glue, then the tape over the glue. Mm. So my back was fucked for weeks. I bet. Then I fell on barbed wire after that, so that was you, How do you, do you go back to work just looking like a fucking roasted I act, potato? I act like, like nothing <laughs> happened. I act like, like my arms taped up and shit <laughs> yeah. like that. Don't say a word. Yeah. So... What happened to you, Sleazy? Mm -mm. We're not going to talk about that. I said, man, I, I'm, don't. That's parking lot talk. <laughs> I might tell you after this coffee, but not right now, dog. I'm fucking hurting. I'm out of muscle relaxers. No, I didn't even get those until I went to the hospital. So If you don't have any Dilata, don't talk to me. And so what do you I, even I do? Did, I don't even know what you do for a living. Uh, I feel like you like work at a factory making VHS tapes or something. It, <laughs> If I had my way, it would be working at this man's factory. Or making VHS VH. tapes, yeah. I would be working for him. I wish. I wish that would be the dream. Maybe one day we'll go ahead and Maybe one day. Him. Hurry the fuck up, Sam. God, Come dude. Come on, bro. Make the factory. Jesus. But at that point, I was working at a school cafeteria. Hell yeah, you so were. So I've worked in a lot of restaurants before. I've either done nonprofit or restaurant work. Like, that's it. So now I work at our care. So, oh, cool. that's, uh, you know, I do I do a little bit of office work there. Awesome, they're, dude. they're cool. You know, they help out a lot of people. Well, I've got to stay like Yeah. Yeah, I went to Arcare. I whenever. actually just did myself. Yeah, and they'll they'll get you in. So, but I, they're great. But then I was working at a, a elementary cafeteria, just Making chilling. Fucking scrambled eggs and Oh, the scrambled eggs smelled so bad. Well, it's just liquid, dude. It's hey. liquid and you just throw it in there. Fuck. That's God. it, dude. Ugh. That's it. Put it in the mixer. Put it in what the heat. Yeah, oh, the breakfast pizza? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's coursing through the kids' veins. Like, here, take some chocolate milk and this pizza the first thing <laughs> in the morning. Go hang out for a little while. See if you don't feel like shit. Get out of here, kid. You just talk like you're from New Jersey. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
nah, man, kids would be dropping their trays and start crying and stuff, and I'd be like, hey, man, that's it's okay. That's what we're going and I said, for. here's another tray. Get out of here. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I meant it. Go. You got to leave. <laughs> I meant it. And you can't come back. You're banned. Yeah. But, Henry is banned. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's 2024 Beckett or some shit. Crochet. <laughs> what? They all have crazy names now. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. They do. They do. There's a lot of wild names out there. For yeah. a second, I just I didn't know what the fuck you were saying. Crochet. I was just making fun of children's weird yeah. names. Yeah, no We've ran out of shit, so now we're just calling them all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was one, I remember a kid, their name was Atreyu. Their parents were Kirk, definitely Kirk in their Kirk. 40s, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I said, yeah, we probably went to high school, uh-huh. something like that. So. <laughs> yeah, I probably know your parents mm-hmm. for sure. <laughs> probably saw them at Vino's one time. So, but <laughs> yeah, so doing all the crazy stuff, I try to keep it's that fun, dude. Keep that aside from my normal life, I, even though it's like <clears throat> no, no, I, been... I don't have to just throw it at you all the time. If, right. you, if you figure it out and you want to talk about it, that's cool. But for me, it's it's a soul it's a soul yeah, venture yeah, yeah. for me personally. I get it. So you don't have some to things you have to keep close to the chest. Mm-hmm. You know, and people are usually tickled to death. Like with our record, we we, we announced our record release show, dude. Yes, and mm-hmm. that's gonna be fucking through the roof. Right I got there, tickets dog. on me, Bubba. Do you? You know, it comes with a if you buy a pre sale, comes with the vinyl record. You get no, the album. I know. Yeah, you told yeah. me about that. Well, it's wild shit. Yeah, we're gonna have to make that happen. We're I trying will, something. You're tempting me to get into the raw or Vino's is war. T-shirt money I got over here. I'm gonna go make the payment. And I'm thinking about skimming a little bit off, you know. I lost in translation, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun and with that vinyl record and at the show. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> and it, I think I know. Exactly. It's gonna be it's gonna be wicked wicked weekend, but that yeah. day is gonna be insane. Boy, there are three on that whole weekend, dude. That that weekend is insane. That there's the show the night before. That's gonna be a pretty do a pretty good show. Mm-hmm. Then there's our show, and then there's a show that's not announced yet that I think is going to end up being another big, one. pretty big show, and it's also the weekend of the solar eclipse. So, so there's going to be a million extra people. Stuff is gonna be around. It's going to be wild, dude. Yeah. The whole thing's going to be fucking insane. And the night and the shit we have planned is going to be off the fucking charts. So what, how, do, how do you go about... And they're all at Vino's, is that what you're saying? Every one of those So, how, I know that all those bands have their own following and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. How do you go about a big weekend like that mm-hmm. and pushing all of them and, like... That's where you got to get creative, man. Yeah. Because, like, your show is your show. Like, my show, this is my show. Yeah. I have to be... I have to think of ways to promote it. I have to... And I'm not worried about the other guys. They'll mm-hmm. sell tickets. If some people want to come, they want to come. Mm-hmm. In my ass war, we benefit from us. We've been around for 17 years. Yep. We have a long standing name where everybody knows if you come, it's going to be a good time. Yeah. You're going to have a good time for, oh, for sure. sure. Yeah. That's one thing you're guaranteed. So mm-hmm. <clears throat> that we have a, f- in our favor. Yeah. And the way that we're doing the tickets and stuff, it's like that's like almost like a it's like good for us, but it's also like a thank you. That's why it's pre sale gets the vinyl only. Yeah. It's like you fucked with us this whole time. It's been a long time incentive. coming. It's our very first record. It's not even an incentive, really. For me, it's it, an it is because it's incentive. cool. It's a neat I like idea. I like the extra stuff like that. I like but, the that it's kind of gimmicky, but I, I like that. But that once you see the show, the show alone, I think is what I think the, price the show admission. will be a standalone thing. Yeah, like just a because even that's different. We yeah. we approached it from a completely different perspective. It wasn't yeah. like let's have a show. It was like let's create an event. Mm-hmm. Let's make it something that no An one's experience. really gonna copy, yeah. Because it's its own thing. You can do similar shit by all means, but it, you know, but you'll never have that specific thing because it wasn't that specific thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, yeah. And you know, you're always gonna be stepping on somebody's toes. That's just part of the business. That's part of the game. So yeah. really. You know, you have to promote, you have to stay on top of it, you have to stay on top of the people involved, which for me, luckily, is just my band. Because mm-hmm. it's just us and Corden Jocks, who is, for lack of a better way to say it, he's a, basically going to be the sixth member of my Ants to War that night. Like, nice. he's going to be in his own thing. I don't want to give too much away, but like, it, it's all encapsulated. It is all one thing. Yeah. And it's going to be a quick night. I can sell that too. Mm-hmm. It, it's only going to go for two hours. That's usually all I want. Man. And I will say, it starts at 8. 
and it fucking starts at eight. eight. Yeah, as it should. <laughs> it's not <laughs> like so. Cord's gonna play the door, which is, means he's going to be playing the second the doors open. So he's gonna walk the room in, mm -hmm. and then eight o'clock on the dot, it starts and it does not stop till it is over. That's cool. There's a fifteen minute intermission, but that'll have Cord and Jocks also. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a whole thing, man. We have Dude. a whole thing. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm just, yeah, it's, it's cool. We worked a lot of fucking months trying to piece it all together and think about this and think about that and da 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 da, and then finally it was like, all right, we just got to do it. Yeah, and, and it's gonna feel that much better knowing that you drew everything from a place that yeah. means something and you took care of those details to where you're gonna, you're not just throw you. It's cool to just throw a show together to be able to perform and, and get your shit done yes. and do, do, do your stuff, but to plan. I don't think anyone's going to whole... feel slighted in any way by yeah. what they're going to experience. Yeah. It's something and, and, and new it's a, and it's different. It's a personal experience. Yeah. It's not just a... It's going to be emotional as a yeah. motherfucker. I love that. That whole record is for our friend who died, mm. and it's just like, and the lyrics are dark as shit, and the whole night's going to be crazy and weird and there's wow. a lot of emotions going into it it's also wow. i can say this that's now, amazing man i can say this now so the intermission is we're gonna reset everything so you're getting two separate shows and the, so the first set is the album from front to back as performed on the record Damn. every song in order just like the record like that's it yeah and then after that a little bit of intermission then we're playing all the old shit we remember. We're playing like 21 songs or some shit total. Mm -hmm. But that then we're playing all the old stuff. And no matter what happens from that point forward, we're never playing that shit again. Damn. So if you had seen it, if you love those songs. It's just the best of both worlds, You come man. get it because we're like. <laughs> I'm not giving even that much away. You have no idea how much we have planned. It's so oh, crazy. The, the pockets are full. The Back pockets are pocket, full. Yeah. Front pocket. Nut pocket. A lot of text messages. Oh, yeah. Texting people but all the time. Making we're moves. Doing, uh, yeah. And it's going to be the last time you'll ever hear it. Ever. Yeah. Come record it with your phone. It's on the internet, Kurt. Go to Kurt's YouTube channel. You'll see it all. It's all there. But, like, kids wrote those songs. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We've been playing them forever. They're good, but they're not us anymore. Yeah. You know, it's not shit we connect with, really. Mm -hmm. It's all kind of just, like, for funsies. So, yeah. You just move on, and mm -hmm. it's not on record. So really, we don't. We're not obligated to it. Yeah. So. That's cool, dog. Part That's of it. Cool. Yeah. A lot of heart and soul into that, man. But it's That's the awesome. whole show is going to be. I just, I'm going to fucking go outside and just lay down and go to sleep after. Yeah. <laughs> you and, won't and, find every, me. Every pore of your yeah. body is just going to be exerted. Yeah. yeah. You will not find me after that show, especially with the shit I've been going through. And now yeah. I'm finally getting like my energy and shit back. And that's good. That's good to hear. It's like, uh, damn, it's that, that night's going to be insane. I've, I keep replaying it in my head over and over. And that's I'm how just, it is. I'm already to that point. You know how, when you're setting something up, you just want it to be over. That's, uh, my favorite part of every match. Yeah. Is the, the either the three count or whenever the bell rings, as soon as it's done, I'm so stoked, and I look forward to that moment. Whenever, and I said, I don't have to do anything else. Thank God. And like, sometimes you have to go away. I don't know if people really understand that. You have to go sit with yourself for a second. Yeah. Because that adrenaline rush is wearing off. Yeah. The weight is off your shoulders. You're just, holy fuck. Yeah. Well, you're uh, you're quite the emotional performer. I ha I haven't had the honor of seeing you live and up close but I've if you cried many times if, playing if, shows if you can't feel it through the music that you're listening through you know recorded or whatever mm -hmm. i've watched plenty of videos and stuff like that of you performing and you fucking put it all out there man and Got that to. that it's my therapy that's it and that's why I like the first time i ever listened to some lame johnny yeah it turned me out and i said there is some shit in this right there's here, a lot you of you fucking emotion I mean? in that shit it, yeah when that connects there's no questions there's no thinking about it maybe you can figure out why down the line but when it connects emotionally yeah it's instant that'll be fun it's this year instant. too lame johnny's gonna get some love this year too mm -hmm. we're You're gonna do some hard music. working man we're gonna do some new music well it's not new see this is the problem we had these songs these four songs that we were working on and then justin got in that car crash mm-hmm it was all a fucking thing. And we were like, that we were going to do all kinds of shit during the pandemic. None of that happened. And then, you know, time goes on, things go this way, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And we still have these songs. 
but I lost all the lyrics and we didn't yeah. practice them for like two years. Yeah. We just couldn't. And cause Justin couldn't drum. Mm -hmm. So it's like a whole thing. And now I'm having to rewrite them, but the songs are still really good. But now I'm like second guessing every fucking thing. Cause oh, that's what you do. You just no. obsess and you're like, no, that doesn't hit right. And I can remember the original way I wrote it was so perfect. Why the fuck can't I find these fucking lyrics? Yeah. They're just gone. I don't know Damn. what the fuck happened to them. I've checked every note. Torturous. Every, every, like notebook like physical notebook mm -hmm. checked it all nothing nowhere to be found yeah. i even went and like re-downloaded evernote damn and like tried to try to like sink back into my account and like yeah find, i found a bunch of stuff oh oh so you had it in there and but it, none were... of that stuff was in oh, there and i know man. i wrote it down that's what fucking damn. gets me it's like i know because i don't ever do lyrics without writing it down then we'll sing the part or I'll type it out and I'll go, and eh, that doesn't the this note doesn't hit. Let me what's a different way to say this or whatever. Mm -hmm. it takes a long time, but yeah. I'm usually doing it in the moment. So mm -hmm. I have like these scratch notes. I can't find none of it. Yeah, you're in that flow. Say, yeah, and you have the music flowing through you, and then it's coming out mm -hmm. instead of just like trying to pick it out of this old ass compartment. We right. call, call a brain. Well, we got a neat idea for that too. I think that's gonna be. I don't think it'll take any time at all because it's just the four songs. Yeah. yeah. Now, if yeah. anything, it, it'll be a. Still a new new take, no no matter what is well you know the same got, or different because you're we still got all those live streams for the pandemic you know mm -hmm. I I personally loved them I yeah. thought it was dope as fuck I don't know why we just immediately abandoned it yeah like as a society we went cool no more live streams I was like damn I kind of liked yeah certain people held on to it but it was a it's like a it night in you know it blew, it's cool it, real quick it, it did go real quick but i think i want to try something with it i want to see if we can't pull something off mm -hmm. something unique well, live stream-esque I, I think like twitch and stuff like that would be cool to try and use those see i like the, youtube i'm a big youtube I, I'm, guy. I'm nothing but youtube i love youtube i'm nothing but youtube but uh, i think it's the I best know social media the live platform. streaming thing i think it would be cool. i think it's the same as everything else it is yeah, yeah. it's more interactive and it's direct it's, and it our and our our other album lives on the crash gas channel because <laughs> why the fuck kurt not? leaked it kurt leaked it <laughs> damn it kurt he did he goes i want to leak it i was like yeah <laughs> whether he had permission or not <clears throat> about it, time somebody did we weren't gonna it was time yeah it was time and he, was. And he knew it he knew it in, in it actually heart. is missing two songs but it's on there okay. there's a instrumental thing and then uh there's a song that never got the master treatment but it's because we recorded it's called mouth breathers and if you go to Bandcamp, you can buy it for like a dollar nice. it's the only place it exists that's cool but it's it <laughs> So we recorded it. I'm like, I love this fucking song. I was in the, I was doing the vocals. I was like, God, this song hits so fucking hard. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. And we get done, and we finally get the playback. And all three people in the room, we all realize that it like this. You know, how every there's like that realization moment. It's like, uh, we can't put this out. Yep. And we all agreed, like we accidentally wrote a Norma Jean song. <laughs> it, it, not a lame you Johnny know, song. Like that happens. We were just know. in the, you know, you're just feeling something mm -hmm. cool. You think you're doing something neat, but it's like, uh, you were just yeah, pulling from, from this other thing. Yeah. That's and easy to do, though. It is, especially when you're in a room and you're in the moment and you're hyped up and mm -hmm. you're like, this fucking rules. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it has this cool shit where it's like in uh, drop, E-A-D, D, drop, C, C. It's like C down to G. Mm-hmm. Like the top strings just flapping around, and then for the choruses, would that be sludgy? Would you? Oh, it's very sludgy. sludgy. Okay, okay. And then for the choruses, yeah, you tune, I'm, I'm on top of shit. Man. But you tune back into C for the chorus live. We only played it live once, and it was a yeah. motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I bet it was worth it. Though. It was cool, dude. I, I mean, love that song. Some some people saw that and said. I need to, they're, they're fucking serious, aren't I they? I need to just pass it along to fucking Corey and be like, hey, man, this is a pretty good song I wrote that sounds exactly like yours. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Mm. So what are you recording? How was that process? Good? Oh, so I was going to bring that back up. Um, so with the wrestling album, it was super cool because, like I said, I recorded some shit in my bathroom before. and <laughs> We all have. I'm no vocalist. And I'm really no fucking musician. That's the truth. Like, I know my chords and stuff like that, but... That counts. 
I knew that these silly wrestling songs had some weight, at least to wrestling people. Sure. But at least they'll get some kind of kick out of it, and they bothered me enough to be able to record them. And finally, a good buddy, oh, Silas Carpenter, a young man from Cersei, he does a whole lot of, uh, man, he's like, he's like one of the Beatles, but from Cersei. Okay. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah. So he's just all about, and he, he works real hard, and, He's like 16, 15 or 16. I did a backyard match for his birthday party in his backyard. Oh, that's awesome. And his mom was like, are you guys sure you're going to be okay? And we were like, yeah, are you sure it's okay that we do this? And she said, yeah. So, just don't die. Yeah, she said, just don't die. I said, we, it's First right. match, he holds his hand up. His fingers are just all the different directions. Ah! Just, <laughs> call an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I think he's do it. You know. I think he's been broke many times. But Silas is a real cool young guy, and he records a lot of his own music. And he has like just a studio that shouldn't be just. He's such a teenager, so his studio is just all throughout his bedroom. But oh yeah. He has some like real good stuff, and he he knows his shit. And I went over there during the summertime, a couple of afternoons, and he helped me out and really helped me. Turn the songs into actual songs. And right, produced so, it. Yeah, he yeah, really yeah. produced it and made it cool and added some vibes to it. And I did, I mean, I wrote the lyrics and I had the little kind of melody on the guitar and stuff. But he he did lead, he did drums, he did bass, he mixed it, did all that stuff for me. Damn, and, son. And it was a little three-song gimmick. Mm -hmm. uh, I think on the re-release I did, because I went through CD Baby first time oh yeah yeah and they kind of dog it's three <laughs> songs and i called it the sleazy e ep or the sleazy ep right and they literally when they put it out it was just called the sleazy e because they said we can't call it the sleazy ep or let you say that because it's only three songs Who and the i fuck Print my shit, you I, dirty I, I bitch. I said, that's just the, the, that's the name of it. And it's even like ironic if it isn't a full EP because it's only either way. What right. does it matter? Also, I'm you paying know? you to print this, not give me fucking shit about if it's an EP or not. Yeah, so then I got with the old Distro Kid. Where are we at on time? We all right, boys? Okay. But I went through Distro Kid and they let me do it. But I also added a couple of promos from Vino's that I did. I was real proud of. I put it in there as like little interludes. Hell yeah! So fuck you, CD baby, you man, bitch ass CD motherfucker. CD baby really did me wrong, and that's I, dumb as hell. Shut the hell up. Distro kid. Distro kid rules. Dude. It's like twenty it, bucks man. a year, and they just like and you, do you do, want infinite resources. Said, do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No big deal. Just pay us a little bit of money. Uh, literally the most minimal amount of money ever. Yeah. yeah, and it was way easier, way faster, way smoother. I really don't Goes, know how shit I feel can go about up like within a day about the the shittiness of a business or whatever but they really ah, did me wrong and I that's tried, a dumb fucking thing to say I tried to talk to them on like chat we can't, support oh, and yeah, stuff well, and, and you're not nothing, even talking to a human at that point that's all happened, robots man, so but, of course nothing happened but I put it we out can't, and I'm, I'm we happy. can't do it shut the fuck up yeah yes you can it's the song it's just the print title. what the fuck I sent you yeah you dirty bitch you're getting me caught up on some kind of god fucking, dude <laughs> The small print, I yeah, guess I should have fucking read Oh, it. ooh, oops. I guess nothing can be called EP in your fucking weird land yeah, of make-believe. Let, let me let me stay between the four and half six. Half a fucking Fuck Muppet. Off. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but... So that was kind of silly, but I finally put it out again. Sorry, we can't put December. this up. It doesn't meet our musical standards. We don't like it. What? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So, but that was a cool little thing, and I put that out. Cause Sir, your music concept is too niche. Uh, wrestlers are not some people we respect here at CD you Baby. You can't put country music You're gonna out about wrestling. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, man. We just can't do it. At CD Baby, we have... We have at C uh, here at CD Baby, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you're going to make any fucking money anyway. Right. Yeah, no, even, I'm if, paying if you shit, to be broke, you shit yeah, fuck. Like, I, I'm paying you just, so I won't make shit ever from what I'm putting my hard work into. Right. So, okay, let me go fuck myself. Good lord. Yeah, they fucked me hard, man. So that's Damn. a funny little thing. I was complaining about tickets last time. I'm complaining about this this time. So we talked about Ticketmaster and all that shit. Oh, yeah, well, they're, just, they're the biggest criminals of all time. It, it fucked me up, man. I didn't really know about all that. <coughs> they're the worst. I can't stand it. Because I was a, I didn't understand all that. <laughs> they're starting said, to try to do shit to crazy, them, you know? but it's going to take forever, and it ain't, ain't going to do no good. Yeah, yeah, no. 
Not at all. Yeah. But the world will keep on turning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's easy. Just don't go. You want them to change it, just stop using them. Yeah. That's the only way it works. Mm-hmm. You have to just not. I, I'm not. I'm not. If there's something's a ticket master, sorry, I'm not going. Yeah. Principles. Yeah. You got to have them. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. It's not worth it. They fucking ruin it. the whole industry, man. Like, yeah. and they're going to ruin more the more they get the stronghold of, the more money they have, the more buying power they have, the worse it gets. Yeah. Because then they buy into all the shit. Soon what? What's a wrestling ticket? It's always like the cheapest thing. Like 20 bucks. You go see a fucking wrestler. Mm-hmm. Nope. Nosebleeds are fucking $75 now because yep. fuck you. Because yep. we said so. And it's his bo- it's his bottom line of how much the ticket is. And then by the time you're done checking out, it's yep. like doubled. Oh, by all the fees. Convenience it's yeah. convenient. By the time you're uh, done checked out. It's actually not gotcha. that convenient because it's like 15 steps now. It's not even like... You know, Amazon, they have a feature where you can just go like this and the motherfucker goes to your house. Nice. You don't have to think about it. Yep. That's convenient. Like, why couldn't you do that? What's holding you back? They're also from- going to fucking own everything and rule us all. Mm-hmm. So I can't speak too bad about Daddy Bezos because, you know, his machines will come kill me soon. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot deeper than my knowledge goes. Oh, you want to hear something real scary? This motherfucker dropped a scare bomb on me earlier. Oh, no. I don't he had like a, he had fear. He Amazon speaker. Right? Yeah. And he had an iPhone that was that he would use and link to that speaker. Yeah. And his buddy, he was the only friend in this phone that had his own custom ringtone was Marimba. Right? We all know that ringtone. It lives in your fucking dreams. It's in every fucking Aren't you? you know. He got rid of the iPhone and got a Samsung phone. And when his buddy called him, the iPhone ringtone played from the speaker. Why the fuck does that know that? Why the fuck was it holding on to that information? How the fuck did it have it stored in there? What the fuck? Uh uh-uh. uh. That's creepy as all hell. That's way beyond us, man. That's some uh, fucked up shit. That's fucked to the insane to the max. Yeah, that's just kind of a thing you just gotta ride, I guess. Robot huh? Death. That's a good song title. You can have it. <laughs> We're all gonna die. I'm gonna try and stay on the good side of the robots, I guess. No, nah, no, nah, they're coming for us all. Well, I know. But it won't even be our comes, fault. Yeah. It won't even be our fault. Toaster's going to wake up like a Transformer and just fucking kill the whole family. The brave little Toaster. No, I was yeah. going to say the Brave Little Toaster wouldn't do that. Brave Little Murder Toaster. The pistol. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've, we've officially covered it all. Fleshlight, robots, shit. Shit. We, I mean, we had to start it off hot, and what's hotter than a steaming pile of shit? I mean, we were talking about that two minutes. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's fine. It wasn't one minute in. I think we were talking about it right before we even started. I think so we probably were. That was <laughs> just actually kind of in the, technically in the, the room. second or third yeah, time yeah. we talked about poop the first time on, on here. What are you going to do when you get the sleaze in the room? you got to mention smells. Yeah, a little scat here and there. Nothing you wrong. You should bring a skunk sack with you nope. and pop it on someone at one oh, of the... Oh, you know, the truth is... You ever thought about that, like a sm- like a shit bomb? I, could, I couldn't. A stink bomb? I couldn't, cause smells fuck with me real bad. Your whole and, and gimmick is smells. Have you ever smelled me? Well, not up close. How many times have we hugged? A lot. Okay. I don't, but I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna say that. I'm I don't. Clean. I don't embrace you and go. I'm not gonna blow this. Well, that's what I do to you. <sighs> Beautiful. I just smell like concrete, dude. <laughs> this that's shit what is I like. embedded that in my shit's hard. bones. I get home from work and Kaylee's like, "You smell awesome." I'm like, "I smell like future cancer patient. Like, it's not good." <laughs> Jeez. No, you don't. You smell like a hard working fellow who. Dude, is, flooring everything in that shit is chemical. Yeah, it everything. Is. It's, it's in the air. It's on man. you. It's yeah. It's. Damn. Yeah, it's bad. That's sad, Corey. Yeah, it's not good. I learned a hard lesson a couple weeks ago. I'll talk about it soon. It's almost over, but... Yeah. Well, I want you to be careful with that stuff. I'm trying, dude. My lesson was that hot dog water is not that bad. No. Hot dog water is fine. Cures diseases, I bet. Something. There has to be some kind of good thing about it. Gotta be. Dogs love it. Hot dogs are great. (laughs) They also, I think, what is it, like 99% contain human DNA? (laughs) (laughs) No shit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're fucked up, dude. All hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. Well, when did you know how they're made? Even like Bubba? brats. Well, that's not a hot dog now, is it? That's so, a brat. No, it's not. But I'm. We're talking I'm bar in the s, leaner. fucking Oscar Mayer. It's they push the scraps and shit that fuck my 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 wife's brother used to work at the bar s plant. It's in Clinton, Oklahoma. 
Yeah, name a place you've never been there. It's one of the coolest towns I've ever seen. The town is in a circle, Man, and the really and the things me. all the way in the back. And they would take all the shit that falls off the conveyor belts and all the stuff, and blah, and they would just squeegee that into a hole in the floor, and that would blend that up, and they'd put it in a slurry, and they would make hot dogs with it. It was all the extra stuff. I mean, That's why they're rich. and <laughs> I guess what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with that. We're using up all the stuff. Listen, listen. I'm not complaining i no, still enjoy a good hot you're dog you're just living in reality every now and then but now i'm more like you know i think i'll go nathan's a little hebrew a little see there are it some was, hot dogs i i mean I'm it was killed good kosher is a good up top you know yeah, good for the animal good for the person kosher is a good thing could you live a life without being able to eat hot dog though i mean yeah 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 there's uh, so many other things that are good are you I mean, talking about every? I don't eat hot dogs every night. See, that's a poor taste bud thing. We were raised poor. <laughs> I mean, you can put hot dog in a chili. You can put that in your ramen. Fucking yeah! You're right. Come on, how many? Oh, fucking You're hot right. dog macaroni, dude. That's it, man. Goddamn right. You can elevate any dish. I don't know that there is a thing I haven't put a hot dog on. I guarantee you, hot dog pizza. Wow. Damn straight. Not the whole glizzy. You got to slice it. Yeah, I bro. I mean, maybe some pizza. macaroni and cheese on the pizza crust, bro, then hot I can dogs make, on top. Listen, I'm so Think poor. I can it. make craft not even taste like craft. You got to. I don't mind, man. I, I just love mac and cheese. <laughs> pour that fucking box. Cook those noodles, dog. Pour that dust up in that motherfucker. <laughs> like, That's it. It's so bad. Yeah, I do. You're just that, eating yeah. dust. Like, what even is it? Yeah. It's culture. Culture what? That's why yeah. I still feel like so fancy when I just go into a, like a normal restaurant here in Little Rock. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, dog, this burger. Little Rock is still the big city. Yeah, it's still the big city. And my taste buds have not matured very much. Honey, so. we're going to the city. Oh, for real? Yeah, we're gonna go on down to the. Which well, you live pretty far away, Cersei. Yeah, Cersei. So it's, oh, it's a little bit of a drive. We we come to Little Rock all the time, so it's like nothing. To come here, but it's Man, nice to be out. you weren't at Zash. You should have came to Zash Bash, dude. I drove by it. I drove by it. Uh, I was going Brother, to we were food. having a fucking blast. I know. I saw. I saw. I had to creep on you guys. I knew I couldn't go, but... You weren't the guy in the white Chevy, were you? Damn. I was really hoping that wouldn't come up. Do you know no. who that is? Oh, no, no, no. We drive a, a, oh, okay. a, a Nissan Sentra. That dude was creep styling. Was he really creep, He's being, creeping yeah, by? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he probably was. Five good. times. It, it got to a point where even I noticed it, and I wasn't even, like, down there near the road. I was up at the, you know, there's, like, two little ramps in, yeah. like, the stage area. I was, mm-hmm. like, on the ramp by the stage. And I was, even I noticed, I was like, this guy's been by here a handful of times. Few pe- some people were being really shitty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, fuck, one person screaming out their window, go kill all yourselves or some shit like that. Like, they were not. Oh, it was wow. wild. Yeah, okay. it was wild. So I was like, "This guy's up to no good. You're driving yeah. by five times. That's not good." Yeah, we got. He passes by again. Dogs. I think I'm gonna go run up to the window and see what the fuck his problem is. Yeah, I mean, I think he would either change his story or probably shoot somebody. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it's kind of where my mind was happened. too. Yeah, he would have been like, "No, nah, man, I don't got a problem." Already. I was just checking done. it out, man. My bad. Yeah, like it's weird, dude. You can't be driving by like that. Yeah, yeah. Cersei's a weird Park. place too. Park, come mm-hmm, over, so. hang out. Mm-hmm. It's the last band. It's free up there, last band, most times. Yeah, yeah. Or fuck, stand across the street. Or, or that, that. I mean, it's out. wide open. Uh, you literally just stand at the door and yeah. watch. You're like, I'm not going to pay. I'm going to stand right here. <laughs> okay. It was over by 10, right? Yeah, it was over by when they were told to be over. I think it was 10. Yeah. yeah. They were told, like, 10 30 or Dude, they followed every single rule. They did every single thing. They went to the city. They did everything right. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool shit. They got a really good shirt out of it. That's some cool. lady posted some scathing thing oh, on Facebook. Oh, I saw that. So yeah. they took that and, pe- and made a shirt out of it. Yeah, I saw the I saw the comment whenever they first posted. It. Someone said they should make this a shirt. <coughs> and I saw they made the shirt. I said, "Wow, that's a." Uh, I guess that's probably. As I cool bought as one it the second they dropped it. I sent them money. I was like, "Mine. I have to have." Yeah. Have to have it. You gotta have it. Yeah, that's badass, man. They're they're a badass group of guys. Yeah. yeah. They did great. It's a cool thing your city needs it, stuff like that. Man, so much stuff because everything that usually happens in Cersei is pretty contained and stuff. Mm-hmm. So You can tell by their reaction to the concert. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, do yeah. it indoors. We don't care. It's just loud. It's like, well, we tried to get it indoors, but your city wants to charge like eight times the amount. There so. would be no place to be able yeah. to. Yeah. No way. No way at all. No, they handled it. Like fucking pure gentleman. It was awesome. There you go. 
<laughs> that smells as bad as you think, dude. That's. What's I that? have some stuff that comes out of me that smells pretty bad, but my body, for the most part, I try to stay on top of because I'm. It's like trying to stay on top of the ooze. How old are you? Thirty. Yeah. Thirty-one. You got to about. December, 30, I turned thirty. You got about four more years, dude, and you got to start really paying attention. Trust me. Then you're really gross. Well, it doesn't get Hard better. That's when things start to. So, like your age right now, you wake up and be like, "Man," hmm. but like thirty-five starts creeping in, you go, "Ooh, really shit!" You have to think about Man. some shit. And you know, you always see your dad get up and he fucking, uh, you know, does one of these. Yep. That's it. All starts kind of trickling in. You're just like, "Oh, it's a long play." Yeah. See. And it's all that's, downhill. That's that's how they get you. Yeah. It it's not like overnight your dad just couldn't get up good. It took a long time. Yeah. 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 So that's why I probably won't be able to actually wrestle for a long time. Like the last time, you know, we talked about it. Like I've never planned on wrestling forever. And that's a reason why, because when I am 35 or whenever I'm 40, I know I'm probably still going to be paying for a lot of the shit that I did. Forever, dog. I know that I can't do that while I'm 40 because then I'm going to just straight up and get hurt and won't be able to do nothing. Oh, I've you always know, said to, so. to people in ours, it's like the head banging, because we took it to a whole nother. It wasn't this shit. We were fucking no, full. Your, our necks, our heads, body. the CTE. Yeah. I was like, we're all paying for this later. Yep, and you got this thing pulling down on your shit. Dude. And if not, you're really going ham. Well, know? we had Bruce on. The next day, he posted a fucking x-ray of his necks all fucked up. He's like, yeah. you know good thing I picked head banging or whatever. It's like, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. And he's right at that perfect age where it's like, Mm-hmm. It's wait, not gonna get better. So you wait till to, the memory loss and shit starts uh, kicking in. Something the CTE. will have to change, you know. So and it, and it's you just gotta take you gotta take that into consideration <sighs> and figure out different avenues of scratching that itch because I've gotten in. I don't know how to do it, dude. My, my doctor told me that. I you get have off. To, on you have the, to do calm down. I was like, Mm-mm. I like the promoting aspect of stuff and maybe running stuff, and that's what I see. Yeah, with, yeah. Or, and I've the actually business end. I've gotten my feet into a little bit of managing. Hey, so that's where you'd be very I start, good. I started the sleep. You signed ball. your first guy. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. The Why don't we talk about family. that shit? Yes. Yeah, that was gonna come up because that's a big thing that will continue way longer after I stop wrestling. That's right. a way that I can be a part of something, help well, that's somebody. That's what they all do, isn't it? Or they go to acting, but a lot of those guys go into like management or yeah, yeah. So working behind the scenes. Yeah, but I'm gonna manage that guy. You know, Mr. Yonko Bailey, Ugly Steve, Cousin Steve, a.k.a. Big Pimpin. <laughs> he, uh, Good night, Young Steve. Ugly yeah. Steve. He's got a little bit of an identity crisis. Fat Steve. But we're trying to figure it out. We're both, we touched bellies and we knew it was a match made in heaven. <laughs> so the Sleazeball family was born. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> you know. It was a Wednesday. It, it might have. That's just how it started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just when the blood started flowing Listen, below we're the still belly. talking. It's The possibilities are endless. All that blood that was in our belly after eating all that good food went straight down to the scrotum. <laughs> we didn't touch those. Heavy scrotum. We're not blessed in that area. But uh, anyways, but we started that, and that'll be a cool That's thing. Awesome. And I would like to get more into running my own stuff yeah. and being able to still the produce pivot. stuff and put things out there because wrestling isn't a Still isn't like a long term thing for me. I could Let, see. Let's say this past oh, December for anybody. was five years. There's no way I'm wrestling past seven. Right. So December after next. There's right. No, that that's what I've given myself. So by the end of that, I will hopefully have just had, built a nice little thing, a little little sure. repertoire of yeah. what I did wrestling and continue to promote and continue to manage and just do that because there's no way my body can keep up. And at this point, I'm just. Having to step it up each and every time. And how, I like know how, I can't do that. Like, forever. eventually, you're going to have to guillotine your own head off, like, just yeah. to make it fucking, like, wow. And I know I can't do that because right. that would be it, you know? So, uh, but that's that's just where I'm at now with it. And I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, one of these days, one of these hopefully, days. I'll earn a shot at that TAC one of these championship. Days I'm you know? break so, these chains. Break the chains. <laughs> and then, uh, Maybe War- Warwolf, he'll hold on to that title for a little while. Oh, shit. And then one of these days, I'll show everybody. I'll get my get my title shot. Oh, we calling and him out. And I might fail. Are we calling out Warwolf? We coming after you? I'm not calling him Pussy out. Because he's a he is he is the real deal, and he is a he's a great champion. He's and great. He, and he's carrying it well, and he's going to yeah. continue to. 
and you know I got business to handle and I'm handling business. But before that time is up, either I'm, I, shot at it. I'm gonna step up and either I'm gonna fail and it's okay because sometimes even if you fail, you got to give it a shot. Oh and yeah, that's what absolutely. counts, and that's yeah. what I would want. Something that people remember you don't want to me look by. Back, you don't want to look back and yeah. say, damn, I wish I'd have did that. Because I spent a lot of time failing. Because I really wasn't trying. So w- when I have a chance to try, even if I fail, I knew I, I, knew I, I knew I did my best. That's so right. Hopefully one of these days I'll get that shot. It's weird how that feels just as up. good, too. You're like, it I lost, but I did everything I could. Sometimes that means even more, and it, and it makes you even stronger. That's where a lot of my battles have went to, honestly. Like, just... Yeah. uh. I might not win, and I might not uh, do uh, spot on exactly what I planned, mm. but I know that I am getting stronger. And sometimes eating shit and falling on your face, if you're really present, you're you're never gonna want to do that again. Right. And you're gonna you're gonna slowly move forward. Oh yeah. Instead of kind of running shit together. Yeah. You know. Inch by inch, inch by inch, every mat learn something different. Do something yeah. different. Da, 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 da. Yep. It takes a long time to be good. Yep. Ten thousand hours, baby. Mm-hmm. And it, and if you don't put those in with that positive, productive thought process, and you start to turn your wheels, and you start to have those negative feelings, mm. it's just a uh, that gets us all, man. That that's th- just an I think artist's it gets brain. Us all, you know? Yeah. And the so creative mind to, is a weird one. We have to learn how to deal with that. I read uh, what what's his name, Rick Rubin. He put yep. out a book, and I read that, and that was pretty cool, kind of a insight on the creative mind and yeah. how we're all complete psychos and shit and how we have to learn how to control our psycho side so we can actually use that for our art <laughs> yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. just, like, fucking getting completely underwater and being like, just, yeah, I'm doing it uh-huh. good. No. Just pissing in the wind. Yeah. Or the worst pissing version of that wind, is yeah. the delusional version. Yep. Because then you just can't – there's no advice to give. There's no nothing. You see mm-hmm. it sometimes in people, and you're just like, oh, well, this is just – Cool. Well, you're just going to have to fail to understand that. Mm-hmm. You know. And continue to fail, yeah. too, because you're not paying attention to what's actually happening. Right. You're paying attention to what you want to happen. Course correct is a huge We all part got of it. maps. We all Dude. got maps. One OG thing I learned whenever I first started trying not to be a giant piece of shit <laughs> was we all got different maps. Yeah. And we might have used this map for a long time in our lives and it helped us get to where we're going. But you have to change your map sometimes sometimes Be, because you, you're, you're going in these same places you, you, you have know what stinks about that is sometimes it takes a long time no that's it that is because it's like, like you were saying inch by inch it it's is, like it's like months and months go by and you've only done three times what used to work and now you're starting to question now you're questioning you're like man what the fuck is, we're on the third go here mm-hmm. you know well let me What's the next one? So let's see the fourth one. Okay, the fourth one's worse too. Okay, now let me try. Now you have to start trying to figure out where to go. It's like a whole year went by, two years go by, and you're, you know. Yeah. Fuck, I mean, mm-hmm. long chunks of time spent honing in on your craft. Yeah, it's it, nothing and, is like that. And you wonder why, nothing. you know, people like lose their mind on stage or mm-hmm. they snap a little bit. It's like, yeah, yeah, of course. They all just want to be big, big rock stars buying 15 mansions and 15 cars. I don't know the words, but the beat kind of goes like this. I wish I could have uh, sung along with you, but I really didn't know what. Man. Is that my Nickelback? Song that was for a second. No, yeah, yeah. it was Nickelback. It just didn't click. I, I was amazed. I was amazed. I said, wow, this is good. I didn't know how long it was going to go. I wish it would have went longer, but it's fine. Dude, don't get me going. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, fucking, I'll dive in. Chad it's not good. Himself yeah. right here. <clears throat> I'd like to talk to him. I yeah, a, that would be a good guess. I don't. It's like Nickelback was like the thing to hate or whatever. I never hated them. I know I'm not a fan of like their music, but I'm not a fan of that genre of music. Yeah. But at the same time, what I've would always you call said that genre. Out of, in your opinion, I think it's just radio pop rock. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. It's like all the rest of it. It's just not for me. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the best fan base in the world. Oh yeah. You want to. Oh, what what what's your dream show? I want to play with Nickelback. I want I want to open for Nickelback. Yeah. Because their fans are so fucking loyal and so nice and so open to other shit. Unlike all us elitists. Yep. You're gonna sell a semi truck of merch. Yep. You're gonna have ten thousand new fucking fans. It's gonna be one of the best nights of your fucking life. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's win 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 no matter what. Yeah, and well, that's what it's all about. Because those people loved that shit then. They're gonna love it now. That's right. 
And there's just something to that. And you can say whatever you want about For whatever this reason. And that, it's the Taylor you know? Swift thing too. It's all yeah. that top end shit is all the same thing. Yeah. It's built for the masses. And it's and built, built for comfort. Yeah. Because it's easy to digest. It's easy. It's you don't easy have to, to like digest and like screaming bands. Familiar. You're like, what was that? What did he say? You kind of got to go look that up. You're not going to get every word, but yeah, that's the only time I'll sound like an old man because I like hardcore music. <laughs> but if it's heavy enough to where I have no fucking idea of what they're saying, I just I just can't do it. When they get into the gurgles and shit, yeah. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> that's it, man. Like there, there's no breakdown. The whole thing's a breakdown. I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. Jacob to- Murray. Every time I get in a car with that fucking guy, he's playing me the next heaviest thing he's found. And I'm like, dude, eventually it's just going to be one note. Just this droney ass note. He's just like, he's like, it's the heaviest thing in the world. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I just found it. My life's going. And he's so, it's like, you wouldn't assume it from him either. It's so funny. Cause he's just like, you know, just regular old Jacob, but he listens to the heaviest shit in the world. I think that's most of those people that listen to that heavy shit. They're just it's that meme if your you know. if your bassist looks like a math teacher, everyone in the pit's about to die kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw those. That's funny as hell. <coughs> it's true. <coughs> yeah, he's wearing a polo a polo button up and a damn and his and his readers. <laughs> he looks sweet, but he's tortured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, tortured, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Probably would have been a serial killer if he didn't find the bass guitar. Yeah. yeah. Still might, but Still it'll be might. delayed. Yeah. You know? Depends on the genre. <laughs> put out a couple of albums, at least, you know. So. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, artist types. Mm-hmm. We're all crazy as fuck. Ain't that right, mm-hmm. Kurt? Kurt's, Absolutely. Kurt's batshit crazy. Y'all don't know. When y'all leave here, he's going to start eating his toenails. Shit is wild. I already did. Oh, okay. You don't got no nails left. Bud. Nobody did make some hella mad grilled cheeses before y'all showed up. Damn, Sorry you didn't get any. Damn, that's nice. You put Gouda and sharp cheddar. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Fancy boys. Yeah, that's good. That sounds real good. I ate a, I ate a waffle this morning with mm, peanut butter. Just a stuff. waffle? A waffle with... I mean, I pimp my waffles out. I put okay, okay. peanut butter and syrup and shit, you know, and usually uh, bacon. And syrup? <laughs> yeah, dog. And bacon? Syrup goes well with everything. No, no, when, no, no. When growing up in the cafeteria, my wife thinks it's super weird. She's from Michigan. She just thought it was the weirdest fucking thing. We used to have vegetable beef soup, but they would give us these peanut butter and syrup sandwiches with them. What the fuck? And you dip fuck? that motherfucker in that soup, dog. What? At Cersei mm. High and Cersei In Newport. Maybe that's that poor people stuff. We got to burn. Talking. That whole fucking place got to get burned down. What did they feed you all, dude? Do you all recognize that? None no. Of had peanut no, butter we got, and syrup sandwiches? What the fuck? With vegetable beef soup? <laughs> no. <laughs> Was jelly really just that expensive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're out of preservatives. Uh, we got this syrup. We got this expired syrup. Yeah. Let's throw it in, mix it in. I love that it, man. Syrup. It's like, it goes well, if you straight ate it as to the a kid, vein, sure. buddy. Now so. that's a fucking insane combination of things. Yeah, yeah. What it the fuck? Is. Like, yeah, peanut butter and honey, but but the soup part, I get sweet and savory. That combination, however you like. Some people like chocolate on steak. That's fine, but it's good. It's actually pretty good. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's rational. No, no, it's not rational. I didn't say it was rational, sleazy. I know it's crazy. <laughs> Just a, a beautiful hunk of but, meat. Throw a bunch of but sugar But you're talking. Yeah, hey, listen. I already said I'm sweet and savory makes sense. Some shit's crazy to most people. But you added veggie soup to the mix, and that's where Dude, <laughs> that's that, where that's it where takes it, a turn. That's where it kicks. That's what puts it all together. You dip it in you that are soup, fucking man, crazy, and you bro. eat it. And oh my god! Every one of y'all are weird. I all y'all kids that tried. had that. I I've guarantee. Tried, uh, I've tried. Tried asking a couple of different types of folks if they've ever had that, and I've gotten really bad reactions from yeah. every single person. Yeah, you should. And now I've done it publicly And shame on, on your school for your fucking so, feeding y'all that. Man. There was probably 10 of y'all in your class. Newport doesn't sound like it was very I, big I back then. I graduated with uh, 62 people, and I was 68th in the class. Not 68th, 58th. <laughs> so there was 62, and so I was 58. At the... Based on the first thing you said, <laughs> That's a wrap, boys. All right, we can end it there, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, Kurt? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Everything's course through me right now. I'm uh, fucking tripping out. All right, promote your stuff, bub. That was funny. Oh. 
Wow, holy crap. You just have that stuff like this whole time in your back pocket. And is, is, is that your go home? Dude, that's, that's what, the best joke. I've never heard Kurt time. roast anybody, Instantly. dude. <laughs> he fucking, Instantly. I'm sizzling over here, Kurt. He fucking, Damn. He laid it on oh, you, dude. <laughs> Damn, that's so fucking funny. God it, damn it, I hope that's in the mic, dude. The, I hope that picked up. If not, put put the subtitle. Speaking oh. to the unplugged mic. Record, Holy fuck. It. Dude, that, plug, plug your stuff, bud. I will, I will. Anybody, uh, you go to Sleazy E Wrestling oh on YouTube. God. All my shit's on there. Please go check it out. Subscribe. Holler at me. Talk to me. Right here, buddy. This is where it's all going down. Vino's is War, February 17th. Live at Vino's Brew Pub in Little Rock, Arkansas. My man Sam's hooking up with all this good stuff right here. Uh, we had some great shirts on sale. We got the pre-sale. Hell yeah. So successful, we might just have a couple shirts for sale at the show if Damn. you missed out. And these things are pimped out. Sick. These things are pimped out, and they're going to be great. Uh, as of right now, February 17th, Vino's is war. March to be on the lookout for March. March 23rd. <coughs> regardless if you're coming to see Sleazy, regardless of anything that happens, legendary match there at the High Tone in Memphis. Sick. Uh, March 23rd, two days before my wife's 30th birthday. Ooh. So get nice and bloody. She'll Hell yeah. She'll, Just take her out for some nice rendezvous. She'll be fine. Yeah, that, that's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. You know, but she, even, even – and she is – the most supportive person in the world. Gotta be, dog. But she also hurts to see me hurt, which is understandable. Uh-huh. That's why she's the most supportive. But when she heard who I was wrestling and what was going down, even she was like, holy shit, dog. Good so, job, babe. Big thing there, April uh, 20th, 420. Things will be going down somewhere here Sick. in Little Rock. First full no-ring show. Fuck yeah, um, man. I'll be in Tuckerman, MECW, ASWF, uh, once a month to – Manage the Sleazeball family, grow that. And that's, uh, I think that's everything. Hey, in May, I'll be wrestling in Hot Springs at Vapors. Oh, so cool. We'll get more into that when the time gets there. But, um, so yeah, I think that's everything. I appreciate you guys having me. Always, Sam, Bubba. Her, You're Corey, always welcome here, my great friend. Great guys. I appreciate it. I'm going to go pay for these shirts, get Hell them yeah. in production, go on home, get ready for the week, and there yeah. you go. All nice. right. I Crash Cast Pod on Facebook and Instagram. Crash Cast Pod 1 on Twitter. And thank you for listening. Peace. Patreon. Salute. Subscribe to Patreon. Subscribe. Spin your money. Spin your money. Support. Support. Please, support. Please. Support. Hell yeah. There we go. Nice. How long was that?